So, let's see if this is uh, actually working. I should have been double checking on uh, on chat. Up oh, there it is. Stupid Monkey says hi. William Connor says hi. hi Hello, Stupid guys. Monkey. Hey. Hi, William Connor. So, uh, apparently, we're actually exactly working. Yeah, there's 14 people here. This is actually happening. Looks like uh, the Monday live stream has started. It's Monday. It's Monday. And we're live. Right here with you. How's it going, guys? <laughs> And then I'll double check. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see audio bars moving. So theoretically, you can hear us. <laughs> and we got dogs whining. So theoretically, yes. you can hear them. <laughs> so, so we're back. Everyone's here today. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, my name is Odin. Welcome to Odin Makes, which is my YouTube channel. Just in case you don't know where you clicked. And this is uh, this is our, our Monday live stream. Um, my co-host here is Felicia. Hi. How are you guys doing? And thank you very much for spending your Mondays with me. And thank you very much for the inspiration and the kick of the pants to actually get this going. Because a big, big, big part of the Every Monday live stream was this person right here. So, thank you for that. You're welcome. So. So. Uh, I heard you got some strapping done. I got some strapping done. I, yeah. They, they were excited. So, oh, so this is where Odin, like, hammers some belts. And that was, like, one of the, one of the more uh, positive comments last week. Well... <laughs> Strapping. Strapping. And uh, got, a, got a kind of in between. So I had help last week for, with, with Darren, yeah. right, which was great. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Calvin, for coming out and helping. Uh, but I know that Frankie, Frankly Built, which was another channel that Nicole King loves, um, joined in, started talking, and I didn't see a lot, a lot of the comments on that because I had everything turned around so Darren could, could, could see it and kind of yeah. be an interface. So uh, that was kind of cool, and it and, and looks like there's going to be some sort of collaboration coming up between uh, myself, Nicole, and Frankly Bill. Sounds fun. <laughs> it should be, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Bruno. You know we got to build a project, right? We do. We do. Yeah, he doesn't care. No. <laughs> right. No, you can stay there and just hold him for you know, the rest of your life, and you would be okay. Pretty much. Until you wanted to go something. Cat. <laughs> Cat. Squirrel. Squirrel. So... Uh, do we have the leather polish? The, um, the 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 shoe leather polish. Shoe leather polish. Yes. Because if we get that shoe leather polish on the leather stitching, right? Then the girdle will be done done. Okay. And we need Velcro on the shoulders. Right. And the strapping on the back. Okay. So that's kind of what we need to get through today. All right, all right. So I'll grab the box and the sewing machine, and I will right. let you start talking to people. All right. Hey, people. And then we'll start working, working on, um, yeah, so I got paper already for, for shoe polish. Shoe polish. Looks like there's a lot of activity happening in, in the chat now. Uh, Rick Skinner says, good afternoon. Hello, Rick. Uh, Caesar Antlon. Ant. <laughs> Antilon, Antilon. Uh, hey Odin, can you make an Astartes helmet from Warhammer 40k? Okay. Uh, Advixen, where are the Marblehead thingies? Where are all the Marblehead thingies? Please! <laughs> well, the Marblehead thingy is right here, but uh, she hasn't quite got a chance to put it on yet. Um, yeah, I could certainly put on a Marblehead thingy. Tell you what, Advixen, you're the only one who's got the, the power for this. What Marblehead thingy do I have that I can wear? And I'll put it on. Um, the marble one. The marble one. Mega JP. Hello, sir. Uh, Aaron draws. Hey, Odin, love your channel. Thank you. Ar not Aaron. Uh, Aran. A, A R A N. Aaron. Aaron. It is Aaron. Okay, yeah. Aaron. Aaron draws. Uh, Radioactive Bear is asking when the next part of the Mecha Godzilla build is going to come out. End of the month. I'm I'm timing that one for the release of the movie, kind of on purpose. Uh, so the next part for the Mega Godzilla build is going to be the, the very last Wednesday of, uh, well, of March. Uh, this upcoming Wednesday, I've got a build that coincides with the new program that's coming out of Disney Plus on Friday of, the, of this week. Uh, and then next week, I actually might be doing the Red Ranger sword, but that's kind of still up in the air. That might... You don't want to commit yourself? Yeah, I'm not 100% but... committed, but I kind of need to start that in 72 hours or less, so, you know... <laughs> Yeah, something, right? Yeah, so I'm kind of, kind of committed to that, but you know, something else might catch my eye. Like there was a, someone sent me a really good PDF template of the Royal Broadsword from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, 
which is effectively the the you know the the the, the wow I can't remember the name of the hero sword. What's the name of the hero sword? Not the master sword. Yeah, the master sword. It has another name though. That's why I was screwing myself up. With. Yeah, sword I, that <laughs> seals the darkness or something like that. The master sword. It's yeah. very. It's very, very similar. And, and they're... But you can't not do the Master Sword, especially if they're very similar. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, sure I can. I, I did War Machine. I've done Iron Man. Sure I can. <laughs> Torture. 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 Go make it yourself. No. <laughs> right. I did, Close I did Heavy uh, Mando. I did Bo-Katan. All right, fine. Somebody sent me a pattern. I guess I was the Mandalorian. There's still that whole Boba Fett thing, you know? <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> But it was, it actually, it's a really good line drawing, including uh, Scabbard. So it was really kind of cool in a way. So. Yes, half the work being finished is yeah. always great. Yeah. Um, uh, Elijah Cooper, you remind me of my English teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm taking off all of the strapping. That's fine. Uh, Waiter, Pico! Wiener, it's uh, my friend Adam from a long time ago. He so, was he was another poor soul that was tortured by Play Incorporated. <laughs> uh, what do we got on here? Ad Vixen. Still own Loki. Yes, I still have Loki. Uh, John Doe's a problem. I don't know what happened. Lord Khan is saying hello and welcome back to you. Hello. Watch you. Can I build a mini Hulk statue? Hmm. Possibly. Uh, Red Lightning 480 with one of the more popular questions. No offense, Red Lightning. Odin, what is your favorite build? What, this week? Um, so far? So far. Uh, my, my favorite single build, I think my, my typical answer is the gravity gun, which is just off camera up there. And it's kind of weird and hard to, to bring down because it's actually tied in place so it doesn't rattle off the shelf because of the trains. Yeah, with the little tiny earbuds. <laughs> yeah, the little tiny earbuds out of the end of the claws because it's got the three claws and... Yeah, yeah, I'm really pretty happy with that. I'm really happy with the Leviathan Axe. You know, the favorite comes and goes. I was super happy with how well Wanda turned out for being mm -hmm. such a, quote, simple oh, prop okay. piece. That, that, that was something that I was really, really <laughs> happy with. I'm sure I'm going to be really happy with, uh, with Mecha Godzilla. So, you know, Gundam's really cool. I just, I don't know. Gundam kind of, it was my project, but it wasn't my project. So I don't think about Gundam that much. But Gundam's finished. That was a fun one. So... It changes. <laughs> Do you have more of that red, um, wet the foam? Yes. The long straight pieces, because... The long... Well... Because I, oh, I need a full-size sheet so it can be long enough for the back straps. You want the full-size, like, meter-long sheet, or you want the full-size, like, 17-inch... Okay. Um, Do you have any more of that? Yeah, I've got more of that. Is uh, There should be a box in there, I see. Okay, um, so I'm not crazy. No, you're not crazy. Trade. Trade. I'll say hi to people. Oh, Maleficent Scepter, that'd be fun. That'd did you do her headpiece? Yeah, I did her headpiece. I don't have it anymore, but I did it. Yeah. Is that the size you want? This is exactly what I wanted. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Because it's, it's this. You need to make another one of these. Right, okay. Maleficent staff would be very cool, yes. Yeah. There's lots of ones. There's lots, yeah. Okay, so I need the I need to get back to my brain back into the project. Okay. Right, that's that's always hard to do. Um, it's this after cleaning up and resetting up. Right. Having a week off. Yes. Um Okay, Jorts is asking if I've uh well Jorts me J J J I J J G no J Where is it? Jorts, yeah. It's Jorts, okay. Yeah. Was wondering if I could had any interest in doing the, the Kroll Glaive, which is something I've actually... Had, had, the, the Glaive has come up since DIY Prop Shop, and yeah, kind of, because um, 80s nostalgia, I'm all for that, and Kroll was an interesting movie. Uh, and I love the fact that it appeared in the animatics planning stages for Thor Ragnarok, but they changed it to a shield or something else for the final movie. Um, so... It's a big five-sided switchblade that flies like a boomerang, <laughs> basically, for lack of a better way of describing it. It's a killer asterisk that flies around in the air. <laughs> Marvel Guy 2001, what exactly is Mechagodzilla? A mechanical Godzilla. 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> on the nose. 1974 uh, Toho film, uh, Terror of, uh, no, that was the sequel, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And uh, the movie starts out exactly the same way the, the current trailers for Kong vs. Godzilla is, is starting out, where Godzilla is attacking the cities and no one understands why. And then lo and behold, it's like a Terminator suit with Godzilla, you know, where it's Mechagodzilla wearing a Godzilla skin on the outside. And the first real battle he has with... Uh, uh, well, Caesar and, and Argos, or however you pronounce that guy's name, and, and Godzilla. And Spoiler alert. No, if you this haven't is, seen it since 1974, yeah, it's since 1974, ball. yeah. The skin starts flaking off and, and starts showing his shiny silver space titanium chassis. And and so there's Mecha Godzilla. And that's, yeah, it's always been my favorite. So it's a robot Godzilla, what she said. Yeah. Uh, Oli is off. <laughs> Oli Zavala, yeah, I'm gonna just massacre that. I need more caffeine and I'll just slaughter more words. What places can you get a big sheet of six millimeter wet the foam? Where you are actually you? can. Well, yeah, where are you? That's that's an important thing. But no matter where you are, it's mail order. Now, I don't know if, mm -hmm. if Skyler's gonna do international shipping. He might, he might not. But the big rolls are not available on Amazon. You have to cosplay apprentice is the name of the manufacturer, and if you go to their uh, their website, which I'm pretty sure is cosplayapprentice.com, if not, just do a Google search on what the phone, and I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, you can contact them directly, and they will talk about how to how to sell you and get a full roll shipped out to you. So you mean it's made by actual people? It's made by actual people who aren't far from here. If we wanted to do a field trip to the cosplay apprentice, you know. Fortress, uh, <laughs> whatever you, you want to call you it. You can see it get made. I don't know if we can see it get made, but oh. we, can, we can certainly go bother Skyler at his place because uh, they're only one time zone away from here, so they're not very far. Okay. I'm just using scissors because I'm being lazy. I don't care. Use scissors. I'm I'm playing with chat, not getting any work done. That's all right. I'll put you to work in just a second. Sweet. No, that's not unlike last week where I ended up talking a lot and barely got any work done. Well, it's hard to talk and work at the same time. Kind of, yeah. Um, let's see, Lord Khan is asking if I've ever tried wearing both the Infinity Gauntlet and the Nano Gauntlet together. I have not. Aren't they both the same hand? No. Oh, they're not? Yeah, oh. no, Thanos snapped and made everyone disappear with his left hand and Tony Stark brought everybody back with his right hand. Okay. Yeah. Do you think they did that on purpose? Of course they did I'm on sure purpose. I'm sure they did but... on purpose. <laughs> uh, I, I have not. Um, I have someone here who can help me if, if we did decide to try and do that because I don't think I have enough dexterity. grip or dexterity with those two things to actually put it on. Because <laughs> the Nano Gauntlet's got no mobility and the uh, the Infinity Gauntlet, the, the fingers are styrene in PVC. You can't grip anything. <laughs> your snapping ability <laughs> the same as anybody else's Thanos could snap because he was CG <laughs> I can't snap in leather gloves let alone plate mail um, Maker JP have I ever thought about making a TMNT 90s film head um, yes not on my not on my channel necessarily but I really the like the I really like the heads and heads a lot and I love the one there's one shot in the movie where one of them gets surprised and kicks his head back and laughs. And so the light goes down into the mouth and you can see the actor's mouth in the back of Leonardo's mouth or what, whichever one it is. But it's like this one quick little shot because it's such crap I like looking for, you know. <laughs> You're one of those people who appreciates the mistakes. Yeah. Or, or appreciates seeing, oh, that's how that, you know, it, technically a mistake because they shouldn't be showing it. But yeah, it's, it's fun. Um, Yonalith Lightbringer says, Odin makes, you can order large rolls of what the foam from the website. I wish I could post the link. Yes, that's kind of trying to explain that, but I don't have, I don't have the link really handy either, and I could search and... Uh, but it's Googleable. It is totally Googleable. And if there was a mod today, I'd say, hey, mod, put it up. But I'm not sure if we have one today. I think, I think they're all not available at the moment. Uh, Pars says, hi, Odin and Felicia. Hi, Pars. Sorry. Ollie? Yes, there you go, Ollie. Uh, if you can, uh, Ollie, talk to Iana Lith, and um, you know, the two of you can figure out where the, where the website is. But yeah, totally, uh, totally great fun stuff. Now, 
I still love HD foam, SKS Props HD foam. Uh, that's still going to be my main go-to foam, but what the foam, what I want, what, what the foam, for what I want it for, uh, yeah, 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 there we go. You know it's going to do what you need it to do. Absolutely. And it makes a big difference when you have the right tools. Yes. And the right materials. And the right materials, and it's going to, it's going to work and do what you need it to do. Um, Katana is asking if you dyed your hair reddish. I don't think so. Yes, I did. Yes, you did? Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got bored and I was playing. It's just something, it's just a temporary wash on top of my hair color. So it's not really. It's not really, really. Okay. Yes, but I change my hair often. So yes, I did. Right. When we're working Thank you for at... noticing. Sorry, I did. It's okay. Um, when we were working at Smosh, I would say her hair, main hairstyle was basically Tonks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, no. It's been or... a while since I've done anything due to this year being unprecedented right or, or maybe delirium from sandman but yeah more more talks were changed all the time yeah joe horde says welcome back felicia hmm. thank you louis felipe odin i love you videos that you you bring me back to my creativity sweet you're welcome yeah it's hard when you kind of get separated and you forget that you actually like making things <laughs> right <laughs> right Ad Vixen says, that would be too much power! Power! This is to say what helmet I have to wear, right? right. Uh, also, Discord shout out. So, Ad Vixen saying, hey, there's a Discord shout out. I'm not sure which Discord. I'm going to assume it's my Discord because it's my show. So, I'm going to talk about me. Um, so, I do have a Discord set up for my Patreons, uh, all my Patreon supporters. Nice little private Discord. Um, that's probably the most active social media place I'm on. Which isn't saying much, but um, it's it's fun, and I it do is. I do post uh, work in progress pictures. Everyone else on there posts work in progress pictures and compares notes and talks back and forth, and it, and it's 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 active and actually kind of fun. It um, is. Yeah, and so this also maybe a hint for me to check the damn thing. I, I think that was what it was. Go check it. <laughs> <laughs> so let me check in with my Patreon Discord and see if there's a specific question. Because I tried to set it up for them to, to ask, and nope, they're all still talking about um, Akito is working on uh, the Ratchet and Clank Omni Wrench, which actually looks really good, drawing up some blueprints for it. And they're talking about nostalgia and how things are a big factor. So yeah, fun. And then I, I actually was sharing a couple of videos this morning because Uncle Jesse did one. From a couple Old weeks House? ago, no, <laughs> from from uh, Uncle Jesse from Dukes of Hazard. No, oh, Uncle okay. Jesse is, I was is Uncle Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a, a really good and talented YouTube prop maker. Prop maker. Okay. He did some really nice Magneto helmets and stuff. He does a lot of three D printing, but does a lot of full cosplay and and yeah, talented, nice guy. Um, he did. He took an Iron Man faceplate. And and 3D 3D printed it with filament, right? So FDM printing. Yeah. Um, and when it was all said and done, he then took the resin for resin printing, painted it over, okay, the, and then set it with a UV, and yeah, it looks it, it ta it's going to take super minimal sanding to get it to be the really resin smooth. Like I thought of that, I'm like, could you yeah. put encase it? Could, what could right. you What could you do to make that? And that is a very brilliant idea. It is a very brilliant idea. I like working with resin. I don't often do it, but I really like it. As... Right. Well, I'm threatening you. You're gonna have to set up and print the, the Witcher wolf yes. when that happens. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I've never done it. <laughs> okay. And I feel like that, that that's not intimidating. I say no. this now. You say this now. I say this now. <laughs> it's just a little necklace. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Five hours of cursing later. <laughs> Something like that. Hopefully not. <laughs> no. Small enough. I'm hoping it, it could it could actually start and stop within a two hour stream. I think it probably could. Yeah, but with my luck, like sewing machines. Oh, this should only take about five minutes. Right. An hour fighting with the sewing machine later. Right, 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 right. And it um, only took five minutes to sew. Like late laser cutters. I so want a laser cutter, and I so want access to one. The, the, the best access to the best laser cut that I got right now is in Dallas, which is a bit far away from California. But at least I could, can get parts ordered easily from Dallas. Um, yeah. The little bit of experience that I've had with them, they are phenomenally fast. They are uh, uh, accurate. They're fantastic. And they take six times the amount of time you think they will to set them up. 
when they actually cut, yeah, it's done in two minutes. It can take 120 to get that file ready to go. <laughs> Which is worth it when you're mass producing. Which is totally worth it when you're mass producing. But when you're making things individually? It depends on the accuracy you want of, of what you're cutting. It depends. If yeah. you do all the work up front and you just push a button and at that point it's done, Right. I'm okay with that. But yeah. at the same time... And I also understand the idea of like with the 3D printing that once the machine starts doing its thing, you're freed up from what it's making to go work on something else. Yes. Um, Set but, it and forget it. But if you're babysitting the printer to make it behave, you're not doing something else. You're not saving time, <laughs> yeah. no. But, but, you know, it's... I would love to, to get get, the, get a chance to play with one. Um, there's a fellow locally that, that's got one. There's actually two people locally that's got one. Um, I can't guarantee that I can, yeah. you know. We were looking into it when it. we originally were looking into making this project because right. we were going to cut up the what the foam. Yeah, we are going to make the, the chain mail. Yeah, and we had access for American River College. Right. Because they have one in theirs, but... Then somebody played the super bug card out of their hand. But that one doesn't... <laughs> and the whole world got shut down. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, COVID right. hit and nobody could do nothing. Nope. And you know what? It's fine because we ended up with the project anyways and we didn't have to get yeah. it cut. <laughs> yeah, there you go, yes. So yay for not having to cut it. But yes, no. Hunting those down. Hunting <laughs> totally those down. did that. Uh, no comments today. Me neither. This so there is some stuff happening in, uh, in 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 the Discord. Stupid Monkey says no comments today. Guard Warland says me neither. That's Artman twenty nineteen. Thank you for the uh, bando helmet. Uh, Darren Calvin says I just want Felicia to put on the headpiece. Oh yeah, <laughs> I wanted to play. With and that. then everyone else says it'll look pretty good. And Will Connor says it'll go well with your new hair color. There you go. Art. <laughs> Okay, a Murray Lipscomb. 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 Where does it say it? Oh. I'm sorry, your aims? Yeah. Yeah. Lipscomb, yeah. Lipscomb. And, and if that's actually a proper name, and, I, and, and I'm sort of making fun of it, I'm very sorry. Uh, who's my favorite YouTuber? At least there's no Y on there, right? Oh, no. Who's your favorite, if so, who? Hey, Odin, do you have a favorite YouTuber? If so, who? There we go. Is it straight? Yeah, it's actually pretty straight. There you go. Yeah, it yeah. actually fits my head, and none of your stuff is this tiny. Well, I, I sized it off the uh, the blue head, wherever that went. That's, I specifically built it off that, which that's also the sizing I did for uh, Captain, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, and yeah. that one fits my head except for the chin. Right. Yeah, it sticks out about this part. Uh. <laughs> well, I gotta put superhero <laughs> chin on it, right? Mm-hmm. Favorite YouTuber? I know, I kind of like Ian and Anthony, but that's... <laughs> sure. Okay, yeah, well, do you want to go with people I know? Uh, or people that I actually watch? Um, which may sound mean that I don't watch Ian and Anthony, Me but neither. I don't watch Ian and Anthony. No, but I like um, them as people. And uh, I totally like and, and watch like uh, William Shakespeare all the time. Uh, I like Tom Scott, I like Adam Savage. Um, I got to watching this, this new collection of um, behind the scenes model making. Uh, it's from the guys in Hollywood and BBC and, and, and Europe and just the model makers of the 70s, 80s, and 90s for every movie you could think of. The, this, this fellow, Mr. Price, went around and, and interviewed a bunch of guys and he's taking all of his raw footage and making little stories out of it and just putting out one a week onto his YouTube channel. So I've been watching the snot out of that for a couple of weeks because it's like, that movie too? You know, and I get to watch little bits and pieces on the All stop motion soldier. puppet for Howard the Duck, you know, <laughs> with someone who isn't the big names that I know of that I worked on I saw Howard the Duck in the last Marvel the movie I just watched. Yeah, it's Guardians it of the Galaxy. End of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I just yeah. watched that one. I was like, hey. Hey, it's, it's Howard. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so who's my favorite of all that? Yeah. You know, Buttered Side Down is great. Um, boy, am I going to have to pick? Let's see, I probably watch more Adam Savage videos than anybody else's. Um, and I really like uh, Evil Ted and William Shakespeare. I've met them both. 
uh, and I've, I've you know hung out with with both of them a lot. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to whip out and not actually quantify which one. Because <laughs> I don't think I can. No. Yeah. You know, so what, what, what am I, what am I, my I favorite can't... YouTuber is Felicia. I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> I Damn guess it. I kind of am now. <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah. William Connor says, we knew it looked good on you, Felicia. Thank you. I like this thing. Yeah. It's comfy. I feel like I need to hold some LED lights. I would take a little bit of doing, but that's doable. I feel like you have a box of LED lights. I do the have push some, buttons. Right, and I think I've got it's a couple. It's right there. You, pretty it much. Lights. It says flashlights. Well, there's yeah. two of them that says flashlights. One of them has some of your old project in it with the, with the badly done uh, Loki gag, because I, I screwed it up when I was making it. And then uh, it's like one of our first live streams. And then behind it is the bigger box full of flashlights that should have that in it. Yeah. Uh, um, back to Ad Vixen. Let's see. need some glue. Where's your glue? Which, which glue? Uh, Yo, it's just on the far side of the, of the lathe. Oh, I see it. It's yeah, blending you're in. You're right there, yeah. <laughs> it's blending in. Uh, it's your boy, Michael. When's the next Mechagodzilla cosplay build video? I should probably put up a lower third that says the next Mechagodzilla. <laughs> no offense, Michael. You just weren't here at the, in the stream earlier. Uh, last Wednesday of the month is going to be the next one. I'm going to put the next video out in the same week that the movie comes out. And I'll be, I'll probably be making his mecha diapers, you know, the, the lower body part. Yeah, I don't know what else you kind of have to, yeah. that takes some patterning. Uh, yeah. Oh, I found something that might work. Um, so last week, what site was it? It was somebody's deviant art. I can't remember their name right now, but they made the 74 Godzilla. So they made a 3D model oh, of him. Oh, you put that up on your Discord, didn't you? I did. I put it yeah. on the Discord. So they made a 3D model of him. Uh, but he was low poly because it was being made so you could insert him into games, you know, mods for whichever online game. And, um, well, anyway. So that model easily went into Armorsmith Designer because 3D models don't mm -hmm. easily go in. You get, a, you get a complicated model for 3D printing and Armorsmith has a conniption fit. It likes Pepakura files. So yeah, this Godzilla... Yeah, because it's already pre-folded. Well, yeah. it's pre-folded and it's low poly. Yeah. Um... And so the Godzilla worked great, and it's totally unfolding it. I think I'm going to be, I need to use that for, uh, also, Armorsmith Designer uh, allows me to make a avatar on screen that has my body dimensions. So it, you can actually size your Pepakura file, so when you print out to make your foam patterns, it's actually going to fit. Yeah, I but, thought it was funny because you had it all sized out on the Gundam for Joe, but yeah. you still used your character. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, because you're like, look it. <laughs> my my machine's size for me, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the newest version you can actually start swapping avatars, but some of the older versions you you were you 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 would have to. You're kind of stuck with one. You can load load them, I think. But anyway. Yeah. Um, so I'm planning on using the lower. I think the lower body from okay. that. Okay. And it was nice also seeing it superimposed kind of over the me. It seeing helped how to, you're going to actually take up the space versus. Right, yeah. and, and how the, the, the front part of the body and, and the back and where the tail's going to sit, how the legs sit, Yeah, and because all that. there is jointing, a lot of jointing right there, and if you don't uh -huh. do it right, you're going to be a penguin. Right. You're already kind of a big mo but... <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't want a dumpy diaper. No. <laughs> no, no, I don't want a dumpy diaper. Nobody does. Nobody does. And once I finally get that piece figured out, I will know the size of the stump for the tail, which will then tell me how big the tail's going to be, and that is something I'm going to get laser cut from Dallas Makerspace and, and Max Kirkland, and I'm excited about that. And Max was nice enough to ask me about it again. Hey, so uh, what's going on with this? So the tail will probably be either the end of April or the end of May. Uh, I don't know. I may follow through with the rest of the legs end of April after doing the lower body. It's one way or the other. Actually, I'll probably do that. I'll probably do the legs first, and I'll do the tail last. Because I have somebody who's willing to help me, but I sure as heck don't want to put a rush on him. Because that's not freaking cool. No. No. Can't be a choosy beggar. No, can't be a choosy beggar. Here's the train. Uh, there's the train! No train camp still. Crazy Joe is 67. I'm making a Godzilla for my end scale train layout. That's pretty cool. That's, you know, it's... Godzilla, Godzilla's pretty, pretty... End scale's tiny. Uh, what is that? Four millimeter, five millimeter people? Something like that. The, the people are really small on end scale. Yeah. So, yeah. It's at the doggy park and they have a little, um, 
it's over by Safetyville, so there's the mini Sacramento. Right. right. And I'm like, it's not mini enough. It's not mini enough. Um, even um, brain. Brain doesn't work. No, it's not. Even I did get sleep though, and I, was I had, gonna say you didn't eat before. No, uh, I had some oatmeal about. Oh, okay. Well, it was two hours ago. I, was, I, was, okay. I just finished it when you got here. Um, so you, you have no excuses. Sorry. No, I have no excuses. No, okay. I don't. Just trying to give you one. I appreciate that. <laughs> I got no excuses. Mini golf it still also isn't isn't uh, small, small enough. enough. But, yeah. But it's fun. I have taken um, uh, my wife's teddy bear because we made a Jedi outfit for it for. Um, so the wife's teddy bear is named Muffet from Battlestar Galactica, and I made a Jedi outfit for Muffet so we could go see Revenge of the Sith. Anyway, uh, Muffet uh, got to go do a, a photo shoot at, at Golf Land, which was fun. Because, <laughs> you know, the buildings were the right size. For that scale, yeah. Yeah. And, um, and the Golf Land people thought it was great. They had no problem with it at all. <laughs> yeah, but still just people. Yep. Can Tuna, hey Odin Makes, and Felicia, how are you guys? Doing well. How about yourself? We're huffing glue. <laughs> okay. No, doing well, for sure. Yeah. John Doe, what is your favorite sci-fi or action movie? Odin, what is your favorite sci-fi or action movie? Because I'm kind of making a mashup trailer and need a few more ideas. And uh, Odin, would you consider making a Mecha Godzilla suit for a dog? <laughs> that would be fun. Uh, it would probably get to be worn once. I think it'd be easier just to make a make a dog. <laughs> make a make a dog. <laughs> Put a little robot in. <laughs> it's canine. Well, yeah. Well, Toby and Bruno, they, they love wearing costumes, but there is a limit. Right. And and when Toby, I mean, when Bruno's done, the costume's coming off. Yeah, Toby will wear it all day long, no matter what I put him in. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But, to yeah. Favorite action movie? Because I'd easily, easily say Tremors, but that's not really an action movie. Um... Oh, Had them yeah. too close. Oh, I hate when I do that. They just. So you're just. I'm gluing the straps into the center of the straps before I stitch them down. Gotcha. So, you, so the the what the foam is going to be the this is like the first one that you did two or three weeks ago. Where yeah. this is the the the, the, the thickness of the body that's going to go inside so the vinyl. So this is what it's going to look like when we're finished. But we're going to have the back. We're just going to put foam on the center and then stitch it down on either side. Okay. I'm just gluing it in the center so it doesn't wiggle around on us. That's probably quite wise. Yeah, so it's not necessary, but I don't think it hurts. Right. Makes it easier. So letting this glue dry and then I'll paint this glue. 87 Robocop? Uh, Still trying to figure out which one. <laughs> yeah, what, what, who am I going to say for my favorite action film? Die I Hard? I like Indiana Jones. Indiana Right? Is that, that that's an action? I guess that's an action film. It's an action adventure. It's an action adventure. Yeah. It's adventure. I like adventure. So there's that. Yeah, Indiana Jones is great, definitely. But that's yeah. mine. You can't okay. steal it. Fine. <laughs> Pick your own. Fine. Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> yeah, that's the one with the guy's face <laughs> melts off. So yes, that one is the better. <laughs> right. Stick to me. Yeah. That's like the good one. No. <laughs> you wax, put a Christmas skull and, and that's it. No. <laughs> no one likes that one. No. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't the first three. And I still even liked the young Indiana Jones and those other weird adventures. Oh, those ones are great. Yeah, the like, young Indiana Jones adventures were great. And even these little teenage ones. Like, I love the Indiana yeah. Jones character. But yeah, the last one was eh. I think of all of them. Like, even of the cheesy. Right. No, yeah, it's, it's the bottom of the barrel for sure. Uh... Because they tried really hard to keep up with the movie style of the of the time that the movie was made in, right? Yeah, so you got that the serials 80s of the thirties. Well, no, uh, it was it was fifties because Indiana 50s Jones was stuff. later, so it was yeah. it was you had aliens, you had mutant ants, you had you know fifties tropes, you know um, the the Russian Cold War thing, yeah. Um, uh, which was all like 50 movie tropes, and that kind of worked, but the movie didn't. So, well, see, and yeah, it, it totally worked. Yeah, technically, it worked just like the, the, the second one totally technically worked. Yes. And it wasn't people's favorites, but I do know people who that was their favorite, sure. And I feel like subject matter, it completely fit in, and it, it does, and it technically worked, but 
it can technically work all day long. It's still not my favorite. Right. <laughs> I really like the one with the burn and the lost ark. I think that one's Yeah. Sweet. Raiders is absolutely my favorite. Yeah. My favorite. Ad Vixen says, uh, don't be a choosy beggar, but I can be a generous beggar. Thank you, Ad Vixen, for the five bucks. And also, Felicia, I see what she did there. Red crown, hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Specifically dyed her hair just to wear the crown. That's right. <laughs> It'll be rinsed out. It'll be rinsed out. All right. I did dye my hair to be Little Mermaid one year for Halloween, so. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. One I can reach. Uh, Which one, one is it? One that's easy to wear and won't fall apart. <laughs> Let me just go dust some of the dust off. Oh, yeah, over, over there where I won't sneeze. <laughs> I would have put on my first Marvel helmet. <laughs> Pretty sure it's my first one. There you go. Yeah. How's that? Is that fitting? That's fitting, right? <laughs> okay. Lieutenant Angry, Dwar Angry Dwarf, I was pre reading this, is why I was actually being quiet for a minute. Making a Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla suit for a dog reminds me of the time that we got a coat from a German pointer because there was a storm and the coat didn't last an hour. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. <laughs> mm, yeah. Okay, George says the best action movie is Commando and T2, in my opinion. T2 is a really good, yeah. And Commando's fun because all the horrible one-liners and it, it, is, it is definitely like the epitome of cheesy 80s. Yeah. So the remaking Running Man, that's kind of interesting. I like the book. The movie was the movie. Uh, so I'm quite, quite interested in, in seeing what they're going to do with the, with, with the remake because they're not going to hurt the source material. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, now we're having all sorts of people come in saying Last Crusade is the best and Temple Doom is the worst. Easy. <laughs> that's Sonic uh, uh, Shenmue. So I'm going to guess that Last Crusade, Raiders, uh, Crystal Skull, and then Temple of Doom. I... Or are you of the camp where Crystal Skull just doesn't exist? Crystal Skull's after Temple of Doom. And yeah. I know I don't like Temple of Doom, but it totally works. Oh, it totally works. It totally works. You know, so out of all the Avengers films, uh, Age of Ultron gets a horrible rap for just the movie itself, not even like uh, the guy that directed yeah. it. But um, that's the one that I've watched the most recently. Partly because I want it, I think. But, and then I just really like the Ultron character. And, and I don't know why, that, but out of all the Avengers movies, I've, I've rewatched at least portions of, if not the whole thing, for Ultron. Okay. Two or three times in this past year. <laughs> I skipped Winter Soldier. I was just, I was just skimming through Winter Soldier. I who are the Russo that brothers? One, but that, I skipped it and went to Guardians. Okay, well, that's fair enough. I was like, Winter Soldier, Guardians. Guardians. I'm just gonna skip Winter Soldier. <laughs> right, I'm gonna write the Guardians. Why not? But I will get back to it. I was oh, trying to do them in order, but that one I skipped. So I can't put the goggles on because I still have the. Uh... Come here, come here, come here, come here. There we are. <laughs> you look like Shredder. What? I look like From Shredder. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I'm Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> I know that could do that. That's fun. Oh yeah, that happens. Well, they're independent. In the movie, there he 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 moves one, and they both move at the same time. Of course, in the movie, he pulls it out from behind his shield and activates it, and it forms. So you, you know. know, they're mechanically created and right, yeah. robotic. Yeah, exactly. Movie magic. But uh, yeah, Winter Soldier. How's it going? <laughs> Wearing the Marvel stuff. So I do have the goggles as well. I'm starting to joke about that, but um, the lenses still have the protective tape on them because I'm not done painting. So uh, the goggles are, hey, everything's blue. <laughs> Am I blue? Anyway. So, uh, yeah, this is what's happening Wednesday. You got a preview. Getting a preview. Dan does junk. What movie have you watched that made you actually genuinely scared? So, I love horror movies, and I love monster movies, and I love jump scare movies, and sometimes elements of the movies will get, in my, get into my head that'll, that'll play out, especially late at night, right? The whole creepy time of night thing. And um, I've had that happen. 
Uh, genuinely scared. Hmm. The whole genuine part is the miss, the thing that makes it... Because I, just like her, I'm sure, distanced enough from what's going on screen because we know what happened for the stuff to get there. Like, I enjoyed Survivor for a completely different reason, and then I explained it to my son, who was a huge Survivor fan, because um, I kept looking at it as, well, they're not in that much danger because insurance wouldn't let them be. Right? <laughs> you know? There's... Film crew there that has yeah. crafty. Yeah, there's they film crew that has have. crafty. Exactly. So the, you know, they're they're not in dire danger because you know, yeah. <laughs> my my uncle lives on the far side, far side, the other side from my point of view, the far side of, uh, of of Hawaii, and there's like international versions of Survivor, and they keep renting his boat for a uh, production boat. He's got like a decent fishing boat, so they rent it to put cameras <laughs> on it. Your to place, shoot. it looks like a third world country. <laughs> Well, they just they just shoot it in, in, in yeah. Hawaii because it's easy. Not the American Survivor, but you know the other ones. And um, I think he's I think he's on his third new boat because sometimes they're not that careful. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't think my uncle's upset. No, as long as the insurance covers it, right? right? Yeah, because it's you know it's it's not you know a yacht. It's I'm, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure to start it out as you know a fishing boat. <laughs> it's probably a little better now. Probably. Oh, wow. CC's got some great Arnold trivia. How many movies did Arnold say, I'll be back? He probably only said it once if it's a trick question like that. But it's not entirely. Um, we know which one he said it in first. I don't know. Does he ever say it in like his, where he's dressed up as Santa or something like that in those other movies? Exactly. That's, that's just it. I don't know if they, they if make they, a big joke out yeah, of it in other places. They, yeah. Because they could, or like Last Action Hero, um, yeah. which is the only movie where he says rubber baby buggy bumpers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet you didn't expect I was going to say that. I um, can't believe Last Action Hero paid to have their movie slogan painted on the side of a rocket and shot it off. I guess the advertising works, because I remember. But. I, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure every time he appears in Terminator, they force it in. And then, yeah, it's got to be in a couple of the... Uh... I feel like Google would know. Well, Google would know, yeah, but I'm not trying to look at Google. I'm going to say five. No, I don't know. I really don't know. But I'll stick with five. That's my that's my out of thin air, hope I'm close to right. So CC, CC us at the bottom of the conversation and let us know if, if, if I'm close. Yeah. You'll certainly find out if you're wrong. Cer certainly. Okay, I'm going to pull out the sewing machine. <laughs> Connor Cook says, looking nice, uh, uh, Wanda. Uh, I mean, Felicia. <laughs> I think this is fun. Oh, Testing Limit says, the jump scare in Silver Bullet scared the hell out of me as a kid. Stephen King movie. You know what's <laughs> interesting? Is Disney villains. Like, when I was little, the beast used to terrify me. But okay. I was having this conversation with one of the people that we did a music video for because I was driving her around and we were talking about The Little Mermaid and she's like, I would not watch The Little Mermaid as a girl. I'm like, why not? And she's like, the, 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 the bad guy scared her. And that makes oh. completely se complete sense because right. she's a musician and she sings and uh, that would be terrifying. Right, okay. So she was like, uh-uh, nope, <laughs> from a young age. She's like, I, I don't like that one. Nope, that's not going to So... I, I can relate, because the beast used to terrify me. Yeah. Yeah. I always kind of thought... The whole concept, Stockholm Syndrome. Well, I didn't... <laughs> I tried to put a whole lot of thought into Stockholm Syndrome, but yeah, no, there's that too. I always thought that um, Belle was going to really get the short end of the stick. Beast became the beast because he was a self-centered prick. And so he got cursed. So supposedly he fixed himself. Okay, so after being so long of being, you know, the, 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 the grumpy, self-hating person, all of a sudden he's pretty again. Is he really going to be fixed or is he going to fall back into being his old self again? <laughs> I was always kind of afraid. It's like, this isn't going to fix anything. He's going to be a jerk again. <laughs> I thought he looked better as the beast. He was definitely a... I'm sure he had a better personality and probably, yeah, looked better as the beast. <laughs> he was, he was going to be way more humble and way more, way more accepting of the people who were going to be around him if he was, if he was the beast. If he goes back to being chiseled from marble. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It used to scare me. I would stay out of the West Wing. I would stay the hell away from that castle. Right. Yes, so. Um, I know some of the older movies when I was really young would, would, would kind of scare me. There was a Vincent Price one, I think, Last Man on Earth. That one, for whatever reason, got to me when I was a kid. But, of course, I remember watching at Grandma's house where, you know, the energy was weird and there was a long, dark hallway to get back to where I was being put down. Uh, you know, to sleep. Uh, you know, to, for, to sleep for the night. <laughs> Tommy Begeech said, just took off for a bit and came back, and I have no idea why they were wearing helmets. Do we know why we're wearing helmets? we're feeling marvelous right now. There you go. We're feeling marvelous. I make props. Shouldn't I wear them? Right? <laughs> I feel like that's the one thing. It's just they sit here and get dusty. And collect dust. Yeah. They, they, they should be filmed, and they should be played with. Yes. <laughs> I worked at a costume shop. Things got rented. That's good. There is a small possibility that I will have some space at the upcoming uh, SAC Anime Swap Meet in Roseville. This is the Easter weekend. Um, so some of my stuff will be coming along if I get a space. If I don't get a space, well, I'm going to go anyway, and I'll be taking a lot less stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, Michael from stockton con just reached out and saying hey we're working on getting things going again just checking in on people and i told him hey i'm there if you want to have me that's nice i have still yet to go to a con well <laughs> i can fix that <laughs> richard gonzalez says felicia is totes ador uh, adorbs <laughs> aw thank you do you have the darker string or is it not where i think it is Darker string, you want the black string? Not light gray, was what I was looking for. Dark brown, um, black, any color, not. Because, uh, yeah, the gray that's in there was my Mecha Godzilla gray. I don't think I have anything darker other than black. Or I'll do this burgundy because it matches that brown. There you go. Okay. Time Bandits had some scary seams. George, I love Time Bandits, still do. I love the, the way the portals work. Uh, and not just because you have to have a map and know exactly where you're going to appear. That's that's kind of a, a, a bit of a, a bummer, but it works for the film. I just like the, you know, it's it's a tear that opens up and it's just a square black portal. And you, you run through it and then you're sudden, suddenly somewhere else. Or maybe, you know, in a weird void as you go somewhere else. I almost kind of thought that was a, like the, the game portal and you got the ovals you shoot and create. But I thought if you coupled that with, with the Time Bandits that... Where they could appear in midair, and and I don't know, I thought I like that. Oh, you changed out the foot. I did. That yeah, was, you were telling me about that. Yeah, that's one of Darren's feet. Um, still got. And then I broke it. You broke it? Yeah. Okay, because I was like, it looks broken, but I was like, oh, it's a different foot. Yeah, but one one of the toes got broken off, and then I, I think I, I I filed it a little bit so it wouldn't snag as much. It really helped a lot. There isn't one of those in there. That's why that one's on there, huh? Yeah. Um. It really helped a lot with doing the, the accordion pieces for making Godzilla. Yeah. Nope. What are you looking for? Uh, the other foot. Oh. <laughs> Your foot. I thought it was going to be in there. <laughs> wear props in every video. Oh look, that's the perfect color. I like it better than this color. I can certainly do that. I'm starting to run out of t-shirts. <laughs> so yeah, I can uh, mix it up with the... I can recycle t-shirts and wear props. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, here's, the, here's the dark green, but that's not what you want. And there's, there's your foot that has the, uh, the, the low friction tape on it. I'm just going to do that because I know where the foot markings are on this one a little bit better. Yeah. I didn't lose it. You lost it. Yeah, I lost it. <laughs> no, I'm just handing it to you so I'm not in trouble for losing it. CC said I'll be, oh, he said I'll be back in Commando, Running Man, Twins, and Total Recall. Okay. In addition to Terminator, huh? So that 
gets it up to, well, that's six then, right? Oh, uh, you were close. Yeah. Because I, I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure if he said it in Genesis or not. Or, or I'm not 100%. what was the other one? I know every movie he's been in. Well, there's that. Ah, how do I do Because he's been in four myself? Terminator movies now, and I can't remember the name of the other one. It wasn't Salvation. It was, Gen it was the... Or was Genesis the one that had... Yeah, it was. What Genesis is the one, one where they went like, back to the first one again. Governor of California. Oh, wait, that was real. Oh, that was real. That movie was real. <laughs> that wasn't a movie. Or, or that time when, when, when Congress decided that uh, someone who became a citizen couldn't run to become be, be president, and the whole argument was, you know, well, if we don't, if we don't vote for this, just think about this, President Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> That's a massively, horribly paraphrased story, but to my recollection, it's kind of the way that went down. Darren is saying something on Patreon. Or Discord. No, Patreon, Discord. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, right. <laughs> Odin is a zombie. Confirmed. Oh, yes. Darren says, I had I had zero issues with the fourth movie. Probably talking about Indiana Jones. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's a well done, well it's thought well, out. Yeah. But it's still... Right. Um, and of course, Darren's laughing, emoji laughing with me talking about being put down. Uh, <laughs> and, and so Stupid Monkey says, Odin's a zombie, confirmed. <laughs> so Darren Calvin is reminding me, so last week, okay, Darren Calvin, he lives very close to the studio, um, uh, is from Sacramento as well, and uh, helped out last week because, you know, you, yeah. you stepped out. Well... At the same time that um, he was here, basically, his fridge at home crapped out. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Like, you know, clunk, clunk, whiz, done. And it took, I think, a couple of days. And because I have a truck, I was like, yeah, sure. I helped him to go pick up a new fridge. <laughs> you know, I oh got a God, truck. That was my other piece. Okay, I was like, I still have two in here. Sorry. I lost one of these pieces that I didn't glue yet. I thought I... Oh. Did you have to glue it yet, or just it knocked down to... It fell. Okay. I thought I in, messed in, up a piece, sorry. In, into get chewed land. So anyways, you're saying... <laughs> yeah, it's a Toby land. Hi, Oh, there is Toby, yeah. Hi, Toby. So I'm saying, um, a friend of his, uh, actually I think from the SCA, uh, let him know that they've got a fridge that he, that he could have, which is great. So load in the truck, go down to the, 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 the friend's house at night to go pick up the fridge. You know, because the only time you move is when it's going to be raining, right? Of course. Of course. Um, well, it's fun because we're, we're picking up the fridge, muscling it out into the truck, getting it strapped down, and I can start hearing their 14-year-old son start to get kind of excited and looking at different things. No, not paying that close attention. But the, what I hear is, I wonder what Odin's making now. <laughs> well, Darren was hearing it, and apparently the kid was like, I, I think that's Odin. And Dad's like, no, shush, that's not him. No, he's not here. It's like, no, I, I think that's him. And, and <laughs> so at which point, and of course, he's interacted with me a couple of times, right? Because I'm just some dude with a truck that showed up to pick up a fridge. Who cares? Um, joked back and forth, talked about Warhammer 40K, stupid things like that. Yeah. And uh, and then all of a sudden they go, oh, yeah, you know, I'm Odin. Hey, how's it going? Hello, I'm Odin. And this is how I move a refrigerator. At that point, switch, geek out, hid behind his dad. <laughs> right. It's like, I'm the same guy that's been here. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> I'm even wearing the, I, I might even be wearing the right shirt. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't wearing the right shirt. That's right. I put on, I put on a shirt specifically to get dirty because we're moving a fridge. So I was just wearing, just wearing a, a blue t-shirt. But yeah. <laughs> you famous. You forget this, don't you? All the time. Somewhere between I forget this and I don't fully admit it to myself. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at camera three. Camera Bruno's, three. Bruno's eating Toby. Oh, uh, uh, zombie dogs. <sighs> not really. That's just the circle of life. That's not zombie dogs. <laughs> oh, well, they're having fun. They're back. And they're back. Okay, uh, this is a tough one. 
Odin, I was put to sleep like old yellow by my grandma. And that, that was an earthquake. That was just the dog smoking the tripod. Um, oh, Turning a Dark Fate is what I'm thinking about. Thank you, Sam1057. Okay, uh, T. Friston is asking Odin Makes, what new upcoming Marvel project are you the most excited for? Marvel specifically? Yeah, Marvel specifically. Upcoming Marvel project. Okay, um, there's two. Oddly enough, they're both Asgardian. Go figure. Uh, I'm super excited for the Loki show because I really like. I was kind of excited to hear that one was coming. Uh, I ran out of bobbin thread. Oh. So it's like half of it's not sewn. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, well, sorry. Oh, well. So super excited for, for that, that show because I like what it's doing. I like, I like what I'm seeing in the trailer. What other one am I excited for that I know almost nothing about? You know, yeah, um, the Thor, Love and Thunder. <laughs> totally. I'm excited for, for um, the mighty Thor and, and, and for Jane Foster's Thor. And seeing... Um, somebody posted pictures on Twitter. Uh, uh, Natalie Portman's been working out and getting Thor arms. <laughs> Way to go, Natalie. Yeah. <laughs> John Russo. Of the Russo Brothers? Probably not. Um, the Bad Batch comes out on May the 4th. Could I possibly make Hunter's Helmet? Possibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Peter. I agree. So Peter uh, yeah. says... Uh, Scared, as in horror movies, can't think of any. But I made the mistake of watching The Human Centipede. I didn't make it through the halfway point because it was just too disgusting. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Wasn't Pat obsessed with that one for Pat a minute? Pat is still obsessed with that one for He's a still lot. Obsessed. That one in the Serbian film and, and all those movies. Yeah, all oh, totally obsessed with all those. Um, yeah, yeah, Human Centipede is not really watchable. Kind of? Eh. I haven't seen it. Haven't You're, desired to. No. I feel like I got the point. I mean, I remember watching Faces of Death and Traces of Death back in the 80s, right? Because yeah. originally it was the Faces of Death movies, and then they got re-released as Traces of Death when they started to get a bad name and weren't getting rented because of what they were. Um, and even at that point in time, I'm watching it going, oh, okay, this one's real because it's all aftermath and the camera's rushing up to, to see what happened. But the ones that you watch happen, or they pull a giant leech off of somebody, it's like, that's a piece of foam. No. <laughs> you know, the magician whose who's, who's, uh, trick goes horribly wrong, and so he dies on stage. And he just happened to be caught by somebody in the audience with it, eight cameras at the edit, and the ability to edit and get close-ups. You know, now we will have great footage. <laughs> yeah, now we would. <laughs> because everybody has a camera. Right, except nobody's taking pictures of UFOs still. Everyone's got a camera, and there isn't like a flood of UFO, UFO pictures. Really? I, think I that feel things cheated. Are getting more and more declassified. <laughs> well, they're getting more and more declassified. But, but we're that's not all the old stuff. Hit. Where's the new stuff? Well, it's all just Photoshop. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that what it is? No, I don't know. I mean, everybody's got a calculator in their pocket now, just like the math teacher said we wouldn't. Wouldn't have? Yeah. yeah. No. What do you think? You're just going to walk around with a calculator everywhere you go? Yeah. <laughs> what? You think you could just look everything up? And even, well, there's that too. That was a little more far fetched. Even when I was in school, I had the nifty calculator watch. Yeah, I'm going to go over with a calculator because I could do that. By the way, happy Pi Day yesterday or the day before, whichever it was. 3.14. Uh, 159. Any tips, Vlad G, any tips on samurai armor? I'm making um, a Hashimara and Madara cosplay. Could, could you make samurai armor? What are you using to make your samurai armor? Uh, Spicy Thai Design just did some really cool uh, samurai gauntlets. It's on uh, on Instagram. I think Spicy Thai works at Weta. So definitely a guy's uh, advice that I would take. Um, but anyway, uh, he's, he's been making some. He's made the, the Oni and a few other pieces, and it looks yeah. really, really cool. But yeah. I'm really obsessed with samurai armor. I really like how you have the platelets right. and you lace them together. Yeah. And it's a lot harder to lace them together than you think. You kind of oh, have sure. to lace them as you go down, start at the top and lace. I'm Anyways. not surprised by Anyways, that. Because you've actually played with one, it sounds like. I built. You built. I built samurai armor out of buckets. Right. Plastic, okay. plastic but buckets. It worked. Not a good idea, but it actually works for armor. <laughs> right? Because the plastic bucket isn't the friendly plastic to drill and cut. No, but it, it, it'll split and run, won't it? Well, we covered it. So okay. 
um, doe skin fabric, which is like a fake suede. Right, okay. We dip that in glue and use that as our cover. So it okay. didn't matter that we had rough edges on the buckets. Okay. So cutting it, we, it, it, and it had that natural curve to it. Right. And so all the pieces were naturally curved and they were sturdy and they laced and we drilled them. So it, 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 it wasn't. Didn't weigh a whole lot. That difficult. Nice. But it's not what I would do again. <laughs> gotcha. Does that make sense? Totally. Totally thought the way through that one. Not. Not, not, not the best way to get, not this, won't do it the same way, but. So Samurai Armor, I've talked about this before, and I think I've talked to you about it before. Uh, the one set that I really like is the um, the, the Technology Samurai from the movie yes, Brazil. Yes, did. Yeah, where it's all the old 80s green circuit boards, and that's. That sounds like a fun project. That's, yeah, I'm sure it weighs, uh, that's going to weigh a lot. So probably what happened. Well, but. you do it on the green foam, and then you. Oh, yeah, there you go, yeah. You just, <laughs> little gold plank. Painted squares and knickknacks and lines. Um, Janice Usser says, for some reason, Kevin Smith loves the human centipede, and I don't know why. Probably because it's horribly absurd. <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those movies of how the heck did this get made? <laughs> how did it not get made? No. Effectively, you know. The fact that they, they, they even tried to get the opinion of a doctor of, okay, so assume would this, be possible? this could potentially work. What would you have to do to make it work? <laughs> right. Andrew Castro. Okay, this would be a great question. Hey, Odin, did you go to college? And if so, what did you do? Yes, I went to community college for a few years. I went to a local community college called American River College, and this is where I first took puppetry and learned the joys of uh, cutting up foam and gluing it together with barge cement. So what did I do in college? Drop out. Stop going. It's community college. It's more like stop going. You don't really drop out. You just kind of... Don't sign up next semester. Don't sign up next, next semester, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, otherwise, I, I just... I ended up going to college because I'd gone to high school and it just seemed like, well, this is what I'm supposed to do next. It's the next step in the progress. And I never had a clear, defined goal, so hey, guess what? I kind of stopped going. But I met some met some great friends and I did a lot of goofy uh, artistic stuff. You know, I took a, a, a sewing class specifically for learning how to sew costumes. And, and I did the puppetry class a couple of times and hung out with all the theater geeks. So, you know. Yeah, I could have been a doctor for how long I've been in college, but right. I just have a bachelor's degree. There you go. In fashion design, marketing, and merchandising. All usable stuff. You don't have a bachelor's degree in yeah. <laughs> underwater basket weaving. Hmm. Supersonic Studios, could you make the Loki headpiece from the Loki trailer? I was thinking about making it when this gets a little closer to the Loki show. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Hey, Will Wilkins. So we do have a mod. Hey. Hi. Everybody say hello to Will Wilkins. Get another person that survived play and another pioneer in streaming media. Will Wilkins was on the air five nights a week, two hours a night in the 90s, streaming to everybody over on the internets. So, um, on yeah. On the interwebs. On the interwebs. Hey, Will. How's the big head? Hi. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yes. Very much. And, and he says you look really good with the Scarlet Witch piece on. Thank you. I think this is a great headpiece. Thank you. I feel like we got to do the rest of the outfit. All right. Eventually. Eventually. Sure, no problem. Or do it the easy way. Just do her sweatshirt. <laughs> right. Uh, Vlad G, how do you spell spicy tie? T-Y-E. Also, shameless plug for cosplay if he's a nice guy. It is a shameless plug. Um, no, Spicy Thai, T-H-A-I. Spicy Thai design. Um, no, totally. Uh, have I met him? No. But um, he's, he shares information. He's willing to talk about the cool stuff other people are doing. So I infer that he's a nice guy uh, through what I see from his uh, social media presence. And that's the best way I can put it. I've never met the guy. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. Maybe one day when people like see each other face to face again. Yeah, maybe. In the next Dragon Con when I actually see some of my some of my maker friends again. 
Diamond Dude 1011. Uh, would I make anything from Lego Ninjago or Lego Chima? I was looking at making one of Zane's swords. There's the it's a Lego katana that's got like the dragon molded on it. Would you make it out of Legos? Um, no, I was probably just make it, you know, out of, out of foam. But I could make it out of Lego, I guess. Um, <laughs> or just a little dot so it looks like it's made out of Legos. You'd have to get the spirit of the Lego in there. Yeah, uh, but it's it's a minifig element, so it, it at best it has a, a sprue bump on the on the on the bottom, and that's it. Because it, it it just clips in her hand, so it doesn't. So it's just a preformed piece, so it's not even Lego-y. What? Well, it's not Lego. Well, it's but, not Lego-y. But, but you mean? I mean, it's yeah. a Lego element because it's made to be a, a minifig utensil. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. And I've had a lot of interest in making life-size Lego utensils, but for whatever reason, I keep getting caught up with, well, what's the size? You know, what's what's the diameter? Because well, if, they have the Lego cups at the Lego stores that are the right scale. So could you take the Lego? Cup? I actually have one of those upstairs. Oh, could you take that cup and scale it versus what their scale is and use that as a? I probably could point? as a starting point. That, that however big the the handle of the Lego cup, which is a little bit big for comfort. So it's probably the right size. Yeah, because I feel like it's scaled so that you could use it with their yeah. hand, their little giant set. So I feel like that's a good scale to work with because everything's about based off of can it clip right. in their hands. Yeah. And I know, who is it? Punish Props did the Lego Knight Sword and Black oh, Sheep. Toby. There's a Toby there. There's a Toby behind us. And Black Sheep Design is another uh, YouTube maker who's done a number of life-size Lego props now. And um, Black Sheep stuff looks really good. So, yeah. Check out more people. More homework. Punish Props. I'm, I imagine you've heard of them. If you haven't, Punish Props Academy. Go check them out. And then uh, Black Sheep Designs got some really cool Lego stuff. Punish Props sounds really familiar. I talk about them a few times. Yeah. They've no. been around a while. It's Bill yeah. Duran. And he, he's appeared on Tested. Okay. He helped make the face visor, vacuum for the face visor for Adam's NASA suit for the uh, for the emergency EVA suit. Yeah, vacuum forming. Yeah, Susan, I go, okay, I'm not going to make that. You know, like, <laughs> but I don't like that I let that kind of stuff stop me. Fair enough. Because I don't have vacuum form. Right. <laughs> I know we talked about, I don't know if we talked about during the stream, I, that I, I used to have a little, like, 60s vacuum former. It was... Uh, it, was, it wasn't much bigger than this. It had a hinge in the center, so one side had the heating element. You had the little frame that would flop over with the plastic in it over the heating element. And when it started to sag, you would then flip it over like the page of a book onto the other side. That was the platen that had your, your buck on it for making your mold. And then you'd hit, the, um, hit the, the vacuum pump on it, and it worked really well. But, uh, yeah, you know, as, as tools do when you aren't afraid to loan them out, they don't come back. And so it's it's been gone for 20 years. Oh, cool. Uh, Ionolith Lightbringer, $15 super chat. Thank you very much, Lightbringer, with a nice yellow super chat. Uh, thank you for everything. You're welcome. And can't wait to see what, what all you do next. And is Joe here? Uh, Joe is not here. No, uh, Joe. Nope, nope, no, no Joe today. Uh, Joe will probably be back next week, but I don't know if he will be here next week because Joe's got a life and does Joe life things. So. And he knows that you're busy on Mondays. <laughs> yeah, right. He, exactly. He, he can't do a whole lot here because we're busy on Mondays. Uh, Jorge Tiorna. Uh, oh, boy. I butchered that. Uh, T-E-J-E. Rina. Tiorina? No. Anyway, Jorge. Uh, hey Odin, I just found the channel and I'm loving it. Thank you. Uh, just wondering, would you consider building any more Call of Duty Zombies weapons? Some of the designs are amazing and could be a nice challenge. Uh, maybe. The, um, because... You doing okay there? I'm trying to wiggle this off. Do you want me to pick the body up out of it because the waist is smaller than the shoulders? That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling for no reason. For no reason. So. Um... Maybe, because the, the video is performing fairly well. But uh, at the moment, I don't have any direct plans for more Call of Duty Zombies uh, prop builds. Never say never. I know. more you talk about it, more it's on your brain. Uh, pretty much. Is this a brand new one? Yeah, you want an old one? No, I just was, you know, yeah, opening new. the first one. You don't want to make a big old mess. Oh, gotcha. Just right. trying not to. Appreciate it. 
Because it's not going to stain any of this because the only thing it's going to stick to is this, right? Pretty much. You'll have to wipe it off. But even if you do, you're just weathering it a little bit, right? Yeah, because Geralt's dirty. Right. He's always stinky He's and dirty. He's always filthy. stinky and dirty. It's part of the joke in the game. Okay, so I'm not going to be afraid. I'm just going to do no. it. No, yeah. Um... Pulled from Pixels wants to know where do I sign up for the free channel plugs? Just kidding, just kidding. So there's this really awesome YouTube channel called Pulled from Pixels. And um, I personally haven't seen it yet, but from what I understand, it's something you really want to go and check out. Now, I might have the name of the channel wrong, and if I do and it's not actually called Pulled from Pixels, then what you want to do is really quick while you're here live in the chat right now, make sure you ask Pulled from Pixels what Pulled from Pixels actual YouTube channel is, just in case it's not Pulled from Pixels. Is that, is that okay? I think that's very nice. Okay. Works for me. Am I doing this okay? Because I'm making a lovely mess. Are you weathering it? Yeah. You know, half the time when people are weathering stuff for Hollywood, they're taking angle grinders to it. I think you're no, I know. Uh, that's why I'm like, it's not quite that much, but... But, you know, there's a huge difference between... This side? This side that you've weathered and this side that's right off the uh, right off the spool. Yeah, I and don't just know right if... where it gets in the joint, I'm like... The cameras are all kind of dark. Yeah, and I'm doing, I'm darkening it is what I'm doing. Now that I made this camera alive. Let's adjust it while people are looking right at it. Yeah, let me adjust it people looking right at it, make everyone vomit. Yes, I'm just trying to get it right where the joint goes in it. So as it wiggles around, we're not seeing bright. Right, now if you want, we can rip the top off of one of those containers. You can do that with a brush instead of trying to do it with the container. Because the, the red plastic bit, the sponge up applicator, yeah. that'll just twist off. Oh, look, it, that would be brilliant. And I'm you know, just... Usually when I do that, I wear a blue glove because you know that's leather dye. That's kind of like what your hands are made out of. Yeah, but I'm always dyeing my hands, aren't I? Yeah. OK, yeah, no, that's the smart way to do things so you don't get dyed. Oh, looks like I don't have a, uh, that is my only black right now. The other one's. Uh... Either didn't get put back right, or it's um. So here's that. I'll let you pop it open, because they're still looking at our super close up. Oh, there we go. Remember, don't swig. There we go. <laughs> Eat, die, poop colors. Thor and Wanda are now making YouTube videos. I hope no villains try to mess it up. It's the wrath of Bruno and Toby as they snooze away through the live stream. Yeah. Yeah. You can dress him up as Rocket. <laughs> dress him up as Rocket. It's it, it's Toby Toby chewing on his fingers. It's the it's the is the ma manicure later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> People are saying that we make Monday better, huh? Aw, yeah. I do enjoy my Mondays. John Doe. Odin, could you make his mojo from Austin Powers? That actually wouldn't be a bad Austin Powers prop. That's just a, you know, a, a clear tube full of magenta Orbeez or purple Orbeez. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that could work. I did a really, really bad uh, Dr. Evil cosplay once. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> Just wh whipped it out in a night and, and, and tried to put a bald cap on myself and didn't stretch it down enough, so I was kind of a conehead. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> uh, oh, I dress people all the time up as Austin Powers and Dr. Evil. That was one of those go-to Halloween costumes because they were fun. Yeah. You know, just instantly. I would love to make Dr. Evil's moon suit with the bubble helmet and... <laughs> Anyway, sorry. I've done the Fembots too. Those ones were fun. Oh, those are fun. Yeah. yeah. Machine, machine gun jubblies and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Great costume shop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Jeff 3D Model says the Scarlet Witch Dynam is fitting for Felicia. And Odin the All Father Thor is really cool. Thank you. <laughs> so I guess they're saying you make a really good witch. Oh, I could be a great witch. <laughs> <laughs> I did this one party where a lady had a witchy theme for her party. She's like, which witch is the best bitch? Was her theme of her party on. Which witch is the best witch? Okay. Not which. Ah, oh, which witch is the best, best bitch? Okay. Yes, that was gotcha. her party theme on her invitations. Oh, sorry, and so she's like, I need, I'm hosting the party and everybody's coming dressed as witches. Which witch should I be? And Dora. 
That's what we ended up Good. on. <laughs> and Dora's <Be> perfect. <laughs> because I was like, you could be any witch. You could be the witch of the West, the thing. But you know, you're hosting. Yeah, you're hosting. Be in Dora. Uh-huh. Oh, she had so much fun. Oh, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> if For those of you who don't remember who Endora is, that's, that's Tabitha Stevens, Bewitched. That's her mother. <laughs> Saying that right, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was doing so good, and then I painted myself. Aww. Oh well. But yeah, Endora's great, great character. Yeah. Uh, Sifu Kodiak, Kodiak C, um, asking if I'll ever make a Red Wing uh, drone prop because the, the show's coming out. It's possible. Uh, at the moment, not planning on it, but never that say never. That's really good. Sorry. No, it does. It, it makes a difference because it's the yellow from the. Because um, the. The yellow from the from the from the leather. Bothers me. I can yeah. see it from a mile away. Yeah, because it looks like we, craft leather. But now that you've you've added some black shoe polish, liquid shoe polish to it, and and weathered it. Yep. Yeah. Now it looks much better. Totally. Hi. How are you, Bruno? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll see if he makes it up here. Yeah, maybe. Hey, it's one fifteen. It's one fifteen. It's one fifteen. The top of the hour. Oh, I kind of missed that, but yeah. Fifteen minutes past. Oh, that's like this. George is saying when uh, weather details, you need an actual brush to have it where you want it. it. Says a lot about the love for details. I love it. It's the biggest difference because you oh, can yes. make a mistake over and over and over again. All of a sudden, it's texture. Yeah. Totally. It's, the, it's just committing to it. You just gotta let it be and just go for it. But, but yeah. I know which part I don't wanna see. Right. And yeah. I also wanna get it into the hole so that when it's moving around, uh huh. we don't get that fresh, oh, that's never been touched spot. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Totally, yeah, because you, you don't want the fresh, yeah, never been touched spot, uh, suddenly exposed to the air and. Yeah, that paint line. That's right. perfectly. Yeah. Which which will happen as soon as this is stretched on somebody. Like like a proper way to have weathered the the, the leather strip beforehand was to individually just weather, uh, stain it like this before you actually we actually laced it. We could have, but we didn't, right. and we're fine. And I think I like that it adds that little bit of just dirt and grime mm -hmm. right into that seam. Yeah. So. And don't forget to do the tops, the sides that you Where can't see. Where people can actually see. Where everyone else can see it, but you can't, yeah. Yeah, totally <laughs> can't. Let's see, I'm going to leave it on the shot just for a minute longer. While you adjust the other? Yeah, I'll just walk over and I'll hit this one. So they can see on that and one. Let's see if that zooms in any better. I didn't quite get it enough. It goes up. No, that's not the best shot. That's not seeing the work area at all, so that's not going to work. And he, he made, made it, it up. and nope, the coffee didn't spill. <laughs> he made it up. He made it up, and we say it on the other camera, it'd be dog butt. All right. Hey, how's it going? Oh, he's going to help me do some weathering there. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, we'll just put some dye in his tail and let him sling it around. There you go. So Pulled from Pixels is, is, is pledging 10 bucks with a huge thank you for not expecting that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. And I'm glad that that uh, our live stream and, and our making of this type of content has helped pull your long dormant creativity out of, um, well, back into action. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to see the artwork that's about to come out of post-2021. Right. You know, people who have, like, time on their hands and reasons to be sad and emotional, making uh -huh. art. Making art. I'm and, so excited. And, and the fact that uh, you go to the, go to a lot of the craft stores and paint especially is just gone. It's gone. Yeah, it is hard to get. Um, yeah. Uh, DJ Stumpy is asking about Skeletor staff. Yeah, I've thought about making Skeletor's ram staff. It's got a proper name. I don't remember the name is because I don't think right. I ever knew. But um, I've looked at that a couple times. It helps times. when you're Googling it to get the right thing, but... Connor Cook, sorry for repeating this comment so much. First time I noticed it. Uh, but how would you and, and would you consider doing the Batman, Cowl, and Cape combo yeah. from the 1989 movie? Oh, that 
you need the poles. The I've done poles. it a few times. I'm it's, sure you have. Yeah, you have to get the shoulders drafted, and then you kind of cape out from there, flaring it out. Get right. The scallop. I like to use a bowl. Yeah, that'd be good. Two scallop. line. I do two layers, just lining thing okay. together. Don't try and just get it done with one because then you can just make a two, put your little poles in there so it stands straight out. Right. Your life will be easy, just two pieces of fabric. Drape it from the shoulder. Use a t-shirt maybe as your base pattern for the front. The shoulder. Okay. Yeah, because you'd actually have to like kind of pattern it to make it lay right. Right. But the rest of it is just flares. But. Uh, have you ever gone to the bother of painting latex onto the fabric? Because they did in the movie. Um, I, I, no, I can see that really making a difference, but well, then also really I painted and... latex and I know that I wouldn't get it smooth. It isn't in the movie. Actually, it it's isn't. not smooth. It's not smooth. I believe it's, it because it's... it would not be smooth no. with latex. Because <laughs> you paint latex and you get these little boogers everywhere, no yep. matter how true. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So. Um... I would yeah. not. I would choose to do a double layer, and I you could buy a vinyl that has had yeah. that kind of a finish onto the texture, and I would line it in satin just for the drapiness effect. Right, okay. Totally cool. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, there it is. Look at this side versus this side. You can totally see the difference. Totally see the difference. On camera. Look at that. Yeah. Which side did I do? Which side did I not? Did I not? <laughs> Put his little face mask on. Just keep the tongue in his head. So stop. He's training me to make sure that I keep my hands on him. <laughs> so at one o'clock, which is well past now, uh, I like to pretend like, hey, it's the top of the hour. And uh, I'd like to say thank you all for who are tuning in and watching uh, my live stream. Hello, my name is Odin, and this is the Odin Makes live stream, where every Monday, me and Felicia have been working on the uh, Witcher cosplay. So what we're doing is actually making uh, the, the main Witcher armor. I'm, almost, I'm afraid to say the name, because I know I say it wrong every time. Geralt. Geralt. Where we're making Geralt's the vanilla base armor for the Witcher 3 video game. Um, and we're, we just, we only do this build live with you guys right nothing happens off camera the one time i tried to make something off camera i set it aside to keep it safe and lost it so uh everything has happened in front of you and we've been working on every this every mistake every, every mistake we should do this maybe that we should go back to the store a third time and buy more uh, uh grommets <laughs> live it's all with trains and um and puppies and puppies so I want to say, you know, this is what's going on. Thank you for tuning in. And then usually right around this time, there's the occasion that uh, people have sent me stuff. Uh, if, if for whatever reason it tickles your fancy to send in some fan mail or or something you made or whatever, you are welcome to. I've got a P.O. box that's listed right in the description of this video. And you're welcome to send something to me, to Felicia, to Bruno, and, and we'll open it up live on the air. If it happens to be inappropriate which we haven't run into yet we just won't share it with anybody so it won't be any fun for you but um i've gotten some pretty neat stuff uh, uh, i've actually made a video for one because artman 2019 sent me a pattern for the mandalorian helmet and um uh, dan does junk did a really cool broken uh, zaku snout to go along with our uh, gundam rx 78 recently prop monkey studios sent me a new product and I haven't really tried working with it yet, but I'm not going to bring out a new product and try and share space with dog play. No, that is, <laughs> he can go. What Prop Monkey Studios is making is gap filler. I know you can't read it, but it, it's a gap filler. Mm. It's it's an experimental EVA foam putty. I don't quite know exactly how to how so to it's word it. It's theoretically that unattainium that everybody wants to smooth out seams. Yes. So. And, and to, to, even to the point of sending an artist's spatula for, for applying it. Um, and I've got a... Right a, tools make a difference. Right tools make a difference. I haven't cracked into them yet, but I've got a, a, a Q&A form because this is very much a work in progress. This is a, hey, can you test our new product for us? 
Um, so I've got one for me and one for Joe for, for working with it and seeing how it works out. But he sent five different batches. You see, I've got numbers in the lids here. These are the different oh, batch numbers. So they're different chemical makeups, so, so they may work better or worse. Yeah, one may work better or worse than another. Um, Gap Filla is an easy to apply, non toxic, sandable, flexible product designed to fill in or build up low spots, gaps, and seams, and also to build up edges, transitions, and shapes. And there's the first period. Uh, build up. That's interesting. Yeah. Not just fill. Not just fill, but build okay. up. Right. Best way is to, uh, to apply is with a palette knife. Can be smoothed out with a very fine damp sponge or finger. Drying time is 1 to 24 hours depending on depth, temperature, and humidity. Wait till gap filla is fully dry before sanding. And always wear a dust mask when sanding. And that is in bold and in brown. Yeah, you don't want to breathe those things in. No, you don't. I'm pretty bad at keeping all of my personal safety gear on but i was gonna say have i worn a mask yet <laughs> have you well we were gluing everything this morning no well i hardly yeah. ever were, but yeah so this is this is the december 2020 batch 266 looks like a good putty it's got um how does it taste no. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like an acrylic Paint kind of smell and, <laughs> and, and and maybe a little bit of house paint. Yeah, it smells like Home Depot. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Huh? Doesn't smell doesn't smell bad though. It says non toxic, so I'm not worried about huffing the 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 Spackle. batch two sixty six yeah. or or huffing batch three thirty five, which is uh, purpley. Purpley. It's, it's a Wanda color. So is anyone going to do a fish called Wanda Vision cosplay cross <laughs> crossover? <laughs> Fish called One Division. Yeah, I said that. I said that right. Fish called One Division. Well, oh, another purple. This one's really smooth. Anyway, this stuff is gonna be fun to play with. So. Hmm. Yeah. You just finished the Mando helmet where I needed to be all yeah. smooth. Yeah. They're really nice. Right. <laughs> and then um, I was getting stuff done with the Winter Soldier mask, and I thought about how the the very front little seam that runs down the front of the mouth. I couldn't uh -huh. smooth that out, but. It looked fine, so I didn't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, if it looks good, why mess with right. what works? Yeah. So yeah, propmonkeystudios.com. Another plug for today. <laughs> so anyway, that's 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 that's. Welcome to Felicia Makes. I'll just sit here and talk. It's Odin Talks and Felicia Makes. There you go. I think that looks good. No, it does look good. So this side versus this side. Totally. Weathering makes a huge difference. Oh, yeah. the, one of the costumes that I voted on as my favorite at a con was because of the weathering that he did. And it was a, uh, it was a uh, new ranger from, from Fallout uh, Vegas. And... Um, went so far as to spray glue driveway dirt onto the cuffs of his pants. So I actually had textured heavy dirt on his pants and his boots. I can appreciate that. I I've fully done, appreciated that, yeah. I've done that with the zombies. And it was all a little tattered. Yeah, zombies would be Remember fun. the Smosh zombies? Yes. I had a whole collection. I was like, this is my runway show. Here's the, here's the fancy dresses. Here's the thing. <laughs> you know. Right. I always like to pick out suits and things because, you know, it just, you wouldn't accidentally have a trash suit that you'd wear out you know business right. people running is weird so whenever there's a disaster put them in suits so it just feels extra weird right? extra weird right yeah. now with most of the zombie movies and people that are in suits wouldn't the suits fall off because the majority of them are cut up the backs because it's easier to put them onto the cadaver that way um or is it or is body is when you're actually dealing with your loved one and and and, and getting them ready for for a viewing they're not a cadaver right that's just medical it's just a body it's just a body yeah but no you don't necessarily have to do that people lift up the body okay down, so. sometimes they do yeah. all right yes so it's not but I've, 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 it's one of those things that i've always kind of i haven't dressed a body uh but i've always kind of heard that this was was more the way it's done and that pants are aren't usually worn because yeah you know they don't have to yeah well, sort, of, sort of like a business meeting on Zoom. Why are you wearing pants? Did no it one sees below the table. Did it time for my grandparents and fully dressed, at least in my experience. Okay. And then there's that Ask the Mortician lady that I absolutely love her channel. Oh, she is a great channel. Doesn't yeah. she have the greatest channel? 
anyway, she talks about that too. But no, I, I just do the zombies in the suits because I feel like it just really has that. No, totally. That 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 feel because you don't run in suits. No. You don't. The only other one I've yeah. seen uh, in, in a couple of zombie movies that I thought was a really great idea. I mean, even Night of the Living Dead did it a little bit. It's the um, it's the medical ones where either it's toe tags and still have a lot of um, yeah. IV lines or tracheotomy lines and things that are still running out of them because yeah they're they recent zombies yeah <laughs> yeah the zombification process zombification. did you get bit while you were trying to run home while you were like where were right. you where did you come out of the ground yeah it's, there's a lot of story in costume for just why are you a zombie yes what is this zombie's character this is our zombie <laughs> news reporter look <laughs> right <laughs> yeah yeah i love zombies they're fun mm -hmm. i like to make zombie lace where it's you grab a oh. handful of fabric like this make it all as crumply as you can uh-huh and then you take the scissors and go like this to it and then you get all and then you let it go and you get this like lacy pattern right. that's all ragged and shredded looking but it has lots of holes, so it gives that lace feel. Okay. So I called that zombie lace. Sure. So that, like, the hem of the skirt, so it looks like it's pretty darn tattered, or the the legs of pants, like you said. Right. Do the zombie lace on it, and then... There's there's a beeping. Yeah. My car is, so they think my car's leaving, and they don't like it. Anyways. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Well, it's probably the truck in the floral place next door. Yeah, but my car beeps, and so yeah. that's my truck sound. Yeah, okay. But, um... Anyways, after you do the zombie lace, then you do the the blood around the edges on the inside. Right. And then you throw the chocolate at it, spray glue, and then you get the little <laughs> bits. It. Yes. No, I thoroughly enjoy doing zombies. They're fun. Uh, what was it? The, the the wardrobe people talking about making Michael Jackson's thriller video, because they they got all the suits and they're talking about doing kind of doing that. They don't yeah. quite talk about zombie lace, but but that's what I call it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but. They talked about uh, getting the suits and, and literally running them over to the car, uh, grinding them into the dirt, burying them overnight, you know, to just let them get really, and joked about how they probably still have bugs in them. <laughs> the thing is, is that you grind, it doesn't show up. You really yeah, you... have to, like, intentionally do it. It doesn't just... Right. Yeah. Anyways, so, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. Felicia makes a note and just talks. They're, they're laughing at us and each other and, and, and with uh, Eonolith and Jorts and... <clears throat> Interesting. This is a, this is a... Andrew Castro is asking, what would you say is the most efficient way of education? Passion? Um... Yeah. I Actually, would say diving off in the deep end. Diving up, sure. Because you learning a language, you go to a foreign country. <laughs> right. Best way to learn you it. You have to learn it. Fair uh, enough. Making a project, picking off more than you can chew. <laughs> um, I, I, I would agree with that. And, 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 and my spin on everything she's saying is when you have a reason to learn it. Uh, you're not just going to school and, and, and learning to learn. You've, you've got... Like you say, passion, you're thrown into the deep end and you actually have to learn the, the language or you actually have to learn what the technique is to get the result you want. Um, yeah. So having to be good. Having to be good. The passion works. Having having a, uh, a, a bigger or different result uh, in order to, to get yourself to actually do the learning. All that, I think, really plays a lot in later in, the li later in life learning. I know as a kid, it didn't matter. Happy to learn anything. <laughs> yeah you just well i hated busy work like i would not do busy work no, if it just yeah. seemed like bull crap i wouldn't do it right. like if i didn't find oh, value totally. in it i totally. was one of those little assholes anyways totally <laughs> but yeah giving a shit that helps giving a shit helps a lot yes yes and and you can't just force yourself to give a shit about anything general education <laughs> Giving a shit about yourself sometimes is just enough. Yeah. And that's actually not easy. Right? Yeah. it's Self-worth is something else that's, that's generally learned or, in many cases, beaten out of you. And, right? I don't, and not necessarily physically, but, you know, it's it's there's there's a lot of um, 
Yeah, no, I BS feel like picking order and, and we are our own worst critics on yeah, top of others. On influence. top of others, right. Yeah. So, yeah, no, um, giving a crap about yourself and wanting to improve makes a difference. Biting off more than you can chew. Right. Doing it anyways. Doing it anyways. Making mistakes. Getting messy. Right. Le oh my gosh, I mistakes. learned mistakes. You learn from mistakes way more than you learn from success. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I have lots of mistakes, but that's okay. Right. It means experience, right? Right. But it's not the BS of paying your dues. Uh, struggling. You can't be good at everything right away. Right. Canned tuna. You made lots of Marvel props, but only four props from DC. Good on you for going back and counting. But I think you may be missing... Well, I can lump one video that was actually two different props, but it was a similar prop. And then I guess there's another pair that's a similar prop, but it's two different characters who each have their own. And then there's the Lego Batman props. Technicalities into these. Yeah, so I, 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 I can stretch that into six pretty easily. Uh, but anyway, um, will I be making any more DC props anytime soon? Um, maybe. Uh, I like a lot of the DC characters. It's just, it's, it's, um... They're just not fam out doing famous stuff right now, you know? Right. They're not making when, movies. When you're making a YouTube channel and trying to, to make money from it, so you can do little things like pay rent, um, you, 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 you make things that... You try are relevant. Yeah, that are relevant and, and that pay off for the effort for doing it. And, I, you know, that's, that's, that's really kind of a rude way to put it. But, um... Mm -hmm. You know, I, I get a week to make a prop to put because I can only make one a week, right? So only I, one a week. Only That's one a week. Still a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Uh, so I do a lot of Marvel because Marvel pays off. Marvel uh, gets gets me views, and 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 that's what I need to survive and continue to be a YouTuber. Um, the DC stuff hasn't, and I don't think it's because of my lack of skill or necessarily the choice of the DC stuff. Um, I just think Marvel managed to capture everyone's attention so much more recently than DC. Back in the 80s, total other way around. Marvel couldn't make a television show, a non-animated show, to save its life. Uh, all the TV shows that Marvel's did, all the um, uh, theatrical movies that it put out, which wasn't very many, were bunk. They were not... Yeah. They were... <laughs> The Incredible Hulk was good, you know, <laughs> the TV show with with uh, Bruce Bixby, but um, or David Bixby. Yeah. Um, he's in the Hulk movie. David Bixby is. I thought that he. Oh, I guess he is. Isn't he, he the security guard? Yeah. Yeah. Or is that Lou Ferrigno? I don't know their first names. I just Fair know enough. the Hulk. Because I think I think Bixby passed away because he was the one that played Bruce Banner. Okay, so and then no, Lou the Ferrigno, guy who, who was yes. on Smosh. He, he was the one who was in Yeah, he yeah. was a security guard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and he's still, yeah. Lou's, Lou's still around. Yeah. Um, right, so I make a lot of Marvel movies because it's, They've been doing well right now. They've been doing well, and they're still doing well. Made a Wanda headpiece. When it came out, it did okay. It was doing average numbers. When Friday came along and people were looking for the new Wanda episode, that video got a huge spike. <laughs> Like, you know, thank you, everyone. <laughs> is before the Wanda came out. Yeah. I was looking at her like the sneak preview images, and they had her Halloween costume. Right. I found the Capizio leotard that they used as the base of that pattern. Right. And I was gonna get it, but I was like, nah, it's fine. <laughs> Sold out. Can't Sold find out. it anywhere. No. Nope. Right Price after went it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> nope. As soon as it, it, like before the episode even launched. Oh yeah. As soon as other people saw it. Right? It's interesting now because... And I've seen a lot of good cosplays of that outfit. Yeah, no, it's a great outfit and... Sorry. No, you're fine. Working right. and talking at the same time is not I... the easiest. You're doing great. <laughs> yes, it's almost done. And then I've just been avoiding doing the straps. <laughs> That's fine. Because... I've just been talking. I can feel it. <laughs> there you go. Connor Cook's got a final joke that I'm not getting here. Uh, so Connor Cook, oh, to add to the Lego Batman props, do the Lego Grapple Blaster. 
Not the G word. Laugh out loud. Not the G word. This is probably a reference to the movie I'm not getting. Which is sad. Not the G word. Because Grapple? What's is, a is, G is word? You have God? I don't know. Uh... Oh, Bixby was seen on a TV and Lou was the guard. Oh, cool. Thanks, Jorts. There we go. Is Bixby still alive? I thought Bixby passed away. Which Even doesn't mean... if he wasn't, he, he could be seen still on. still be seen on the TV, yeah. yeah. Oh, I lost my... Excuse me. Uh, Oculus 2003 is asking, Hey, Odin, if you use a foam PVC board, could you still carve into it with a wood burner or would it just melt? Yes. To both. Um, yes, you can carve into it. Yes, it will melt. Right. But yes, not necessarily a bad thing. I guess I didn't didn't do that to Bifrost. I'm trying to think if there... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Right? Yeah. Was this... Uh, that was po the, the plastic, was wasn't it? Oh, no, this was Dremel. That was Dremel? Yeah. Yeah, these are all dribble. Huh. Because I know you've used that technique before. Sorry, I walked off camera talking about props and don't bring them back to show. So Odin Spear and Mandalorian Spear, I'm looking at them because they both have the foam PVC board. And I use a Dremel on them, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I, I use the... Because it will melt, but... Um... That's not necessarily a bad thing. No, it's because not. Because it kind of does make the edges a little smoother and more finished. It can, it, or if you or, do it right. or it can it can you know expand them and uh, yeah, make it look like a plowed field. If that's the effect you want. If that's the effect you want, yeah, um, it should work. Just wear a respirator because you know those those those, those smokes fumes. and things that come the smoke and fumes that come off of it. Yeah, those are those are nasty. So you want to uh, you know. <laughs> Poison yourself. Not poison yourself. Do that in a well ventilated area. Yeah. There's a reason why makerspaces don't let you cut PVC on a laser cutter. Really? Yeah. Because something about cyanide gas or some damn thing. Oh. It's not quite that, but it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, burning PVC puts off some really toxic, nasty stuff. So, I believe it. Yeah. That's why we all drink out of it. Because <laughs> PVC pipe. Yeah, let's take this material that's indestructible ah. and amazing and then we wrap, you know, perishable items in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away when we're done. The G word is gun. Gun. Oh, yeah. You can't say that. Gun. Right. But I, uh, but heat gun seems to be okay. We're making jokes about the YouTube algorithm, right? Uh, yeah. Shakespeare talks about this a lot, that uh, if you actually make a machine gun... Um, YouTube's not going to push that for anybody to see because too many advertisers don't want to have their advertisement connected with guns, right? It's whatever, fine. Um, as a guy who just wants to make foam guns, but th the rules are there because of real guns. Um, so you don't, you don't use the G word. However, with crafting, it seems like nobody cares for you talk about a hot glue gun. Or you talk about a web gun for, for making cobwebs and spider webs. Or you talk about your a spray gun or a heat gun or a tape gun. I actually took a picture of an un unintended gun at the airport because somebody had set a tape gun down and walked away. <laughs> you <know. laughs> can't so. make those jokes anymore. No. no. Well, no, I, I, I didn't make that joke no. out loud at the airport, but I no, totally I sent the picture to my wife because that was only like a, yeah, that was like a year ago the last time I actually got to go anywhere. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. It's been a year. It's been a year. Yeah, it's been a year. It's been a year. Hawkeye's bow could be very cool to make. Um, Gabriel Moffat. Hey, Odin, I've been watching your channel for a while now, and I love it so much. And also, what part of the costume are we on? Well, we keep bouncing around to parts that we've kind of worked on because we're, we're kind of finishing this piece and kind of finishing that piece. So right now, what uh, Felicia's doing, let me I move the camera I literally a just finished. You literally just finished. Just finished. So there's like nothing else to see. Well, they can come see how messy it looks. Okay. Well, here. Here's how messy it looks. See? Just rub it off extra. So still working on what could be the girdle? This the, is the, the girdle, corset. Yeah. 
piece and and specifically what Felicia has been doing is dyeing the, the the leather strands from being the the reddish you know work boot leather color into something that's more fitting for the costume and just been doing this with with uh, liquid black shoe polish um, yeah, now it looks the girdle's done it is full no, it's not going to lay flat because it is shaped to waist shape. Right, right, right. right. Just so you... No, I, it's, that's, that's, that's all good. And this is the bottom. This is the top because we have this on the bottom. Right. But this piece is now officially done. That is now officially done. You, you, you don't feel you have anything else to do on this piece? No, the lacing's done. We did all there the strapping. Oh, lovely. Else? Right into the garbage can. Oh, that's good. It went in the garbage can? Right there. Oh, wow, it didn't go into onto your... I was watching that and I didn't say anything. I'm sorry. I should have said okay. something. It missed my sewing machine. Oh, that's good. Um, but yeah, it, right on the garbage can. There oh, you go. Well, well, so. fine. It's a garbage can. Um, so we're gonna. It, it's all just the top. The whole point is to make from the waist up and the neck down. It's the armor. It's the armor. So, so. this is the girdle. It's done. We've got the the clamshell piece. It's almost done. We've got the pauldrons. They're almost done. And the other big piece that you were working on were the straps for the back half. Yeah, so this piece is done. Okay. The clamshell needs those pieces glued to it. Right, the, the buckles? Yeah, the buckles and the straps need to okay. get glued down. And the pauldrons just need the Velcro added to them. Okay. And one of them needs to be a trap attached with the... One needs rivets and, and elastic still. Not rivets, just the elastic and knotted. Because oh. one side has a rivet, the other side doesn't. Right. Okay. So, one so one side with the rivet is done. Okay. The side without the rivet just needs to get stabbed and knotted. Okay. So that's what needs to happen on one side of the pauldrons. All right. On the left. Other than that, the pauldrons are finished. They need the velcro attached to the shoulder piece, but the back velcro has been attached to the pauldrons themselves, so they can get attached. Right. Whenever I don't think we I do put the, the rest of the. I don't think I put the rest of the big rivets on. Did I? Yep, I believe they're on. Aren't uh, they? Are all five on, or is it just like one or two that got put on? Uh, just four. Oh, so of I need them. to put one more on. Which one? Is, is there one here still? Is it symmetrical? I, did you take these off? Because it looks like there were them. You have a picture. I have a picture. The strap goes over it. Yeah. And there is there is not one on the back. Yeah. So I think that's why you took it out. Okay. Yeah. So this side is done. Okay. Because we, I know. It has the Velcro. Right. It has the this side attached, and then it has the little armband right here that slides to keep it on your arm with the elastic right. attached. So that's part of that piece. So we have this piece and this piece. This piece needs to get attached to this piece. Okay. No rivets, just just the tied this way. Right. The way this one. Right, where it just went through yeah, and tied. Yeah, the little okay. Velcro. Um, Fact, elastic. Elastic, yeah. You could take it's the probably enough here. Yeah, yeah, to do that. So, I'll let you do that. Because you did that in the first place. And then, here's the other sides. So, we have cauldrons, we have a girdle, and then clamshell. So, technically, all the armor's finished. But what now we... What we still have to do is um, put Velcro here on the shoulders. Okay. And also do the straps. So I wanted to do the straps first, then the right. Velcro. Right. Then everything. So I think we have all the pieces more or less together. Yeah. This is totally live because my brain's thinking about what to do next. <laughs> okay. Totally a lie or totally live? Uh... Totally live. Yeah. There we go. It's supposed to be live. That's the whole point. And besides, people love you. And we know that for sure, because viewership was down last week when you weren't here. There you go. <laughs> I feel strong. Big oh. and strong. <laughs> now Wanda's badass. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we need to do the straps. Right. I wanted to do the back straps before we did the front straps, because I wanted them to semi-be functional. Okay. Be semi-functional. Semi-functional, right. Semi. Semi-functional. Because we have um, reference photos printed out. So Print we can it out. See what's going on? And if we look at the swords, 
you could probably put up the picture so they can see what picture I'm looking at. But the swords, the sheaths don't actually go through any of the strapping. Uh huh. They're just kind of tied on on the back. So I was getting distracted by this. So uh. the way I would probably do that so that that could happen, if somebody's wearing this and they wanted to carry around swords, they'd be able to. Right. Sorry. I'm no worries. It's suddenly taking longer than I thought it was. I just wanted to go and find. The picture that I'm referencing? Right. Yeah, I know. It should be easy. Can you pull it camera two so I could show them? So this is the strap for the front piece, but I want to make something very similar for the back piece and see how the strap isn't attached all the way to the um, thing. I want to sew a stitch here and here. Can you guys see that it's working with shoe leather polish? <laughs> and then that would be where you could put the clip for the swords and it would be a functional strap. And then I would um, not staple it, rivet it directly yeah, rivet it, right. to the thing after gluing it just to have that extra support. Extra, extra little bit of mechanical. Yeah, that little. And, and don't worry, that's not shoe polish, Wanda. That's just your hands turning gray because all the power is Because I'm dying. Out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's Agatha. You, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's what it is. But um, so the, we have this strap, and I want to make it something very similar for the back. But I want to make sure that we can be able to slide some swords if. Right. Future. If, if we get some lightweight swords or whatever. Not that those are that heavy, but. Well, no, I think it would be able to support them. The thing. Here. I'm okay. You sure? No. I might ever. But, so, this isn't that heavy compared to how strong this is. But what I'd really want to do not. is, um, this doesn't get shoved in there because that would never support it. What it would be, right. it was you would clip it and slide it on the, this piece. And right. then if it's... So you talk about like a, like a felt clip or like a money clip type thing. Yeah, some kind of a clip that goes on the outside. And okay. that's why I would rivet just to give it that little gotcha. extra support to this thing. I've got a couple of the Vietnam era uh, utility clips that uh, for, for the uh, the armed forces where it was, uh, it's like a, a, a piece of black clip that goes around. It's got a little bar that slides up and down. So it becomes fully captive. So you, you basically, the idea is you'd raise the bar up, clip it around your web belt, and then push the bar down. And then it's yes totally clipped. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy staples. Fancy staples. Yes, I'm totally, all for that. totally not period for the costume, but <laughs> but structurally sound. But structurally sound. No, it wouldn't be not period correct because they would totally use metal. Yeah. yeah. It just doesn't look like. To me, it doesn't oh. look appropriate. Okay. Well, I'm like, there's so much things strapped to the back of his. Right. <laughs> I don't see any of that. But that is what I'm thinking. Whether it's right or wrong, ah! we'll find out. She hit a light with a sword. <laughs> monkey business. Thank you. Uh, monkey business uh, doing a super chat for, for uh, 50 Canadian dollars. I'm usually working, so I miss your streams. Glad I was able to catch you guys today. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Yeah. And not just because of money. That sounds really shitty. But no, I'm, I'm glad you got to catch the stream. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Weird question. If I put two or a rivet in the center of this, do you uh -huh. think it would give me extra support if I tied it into the shoulder lacing on top of gluing it down? Or do you think it's just an unnecessary step? So you want to run a rivet through it and then also... Glue it down. Oh, and then also glue it down? Well, because this is the back. I haven't right. done the other side. It's going to also cross in the back. Right, right. This piece is going to be our sword supportive piece just to give it an extra support Right, right. Should right. I put a rivet in, flip it over? <laughs> Probably. Because if I do that with a rivet on both sides, it's gonna give you some pretty serious support. And then if I do, but I'd have. To Are you gonna? You're not gonna bulk it up too much, putting all that material on the shoulder, right? No. Okay. No, it's, it's gonna be there anyways. Mm -hmm. It's whether I, cause and then also this would be on the inside. Okay. But I also don't think it's gonna be that necessary. I don't know. We'll see. Probably I have to make not. this piece though first. Yeah. I haven't done that yet. So if I get this piece finished today, okay. then right. next week we can get all the strapping glued down. Okay. That will be it's, my goal. It's five to two. Five minutes to two. So yeah. yeah, I can totally just make a strip. Sure. And stitch it. Go for it. That's what we need for the back. Hi, Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Here to spill coffee again and walk on everything. Welcome to the Bruno Dog Butt Show. It's Bruno showing off his good side. 
Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. Were we not paying enough attention to you? Hi, Dr. Needy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't take him with me last week when I was gone, and so now he's been extra oh, needy. Right. Don't leave me! He would Don't not let me leave me. him this morning right. at all. They knew. He's adding they extra knew. weathering. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course they know. They've been here enough times. Geralt and fighting the Bruno. <laughs> right. Oh, geez. But yes. Hi, Bruno. You can go. <laughs> let me go get this other color vinyl. Okay. That's this one. I will... Move the All our... So let you keep that. We're so close. I feel like we might be finished by April. <laughs> yeah, we might. Might be finished by April. Yeah, I did this one as a two inch line. No, Bruno. Let's put this over here. We're just kind of sort of a little bit clean. And where we're pretending to be clean? Yeah, where we're pretending to that's going to be clean. Yeah. Uh... Why did I do this? So. Probably. Can tuna, is there a fast way to clean contact cement from your hands? Yeah. Kinda. Um, the stuff that cuts contact cement is toxic. So, no, not really. Uh, usually, it, it comes right off for me in the shower. Uh, I don't know if it's the, the, the hot water or, or all the other soaps that I'm using or the fact that it's, you know, a few hours later and I've had a chance to build up whatever oils underneath it. Um, recently, I, uh, so, whatever, avoiding all the details. Recently, I saw lacquer thinner is also pretty good at cutting uh, contact cement. Uh, it's slower than the xylene that I keep talking about and, and the industrial cleaner. That stuff cleans it up much faster. But lacquer thinner was taking uh, glue residue off of uh, off of foam, so that was working. Um, mm. Well, when that girl got Gorilla Glue in her hair, right. they ended up using a combination of basically acetone and olive oil. <laughs> oh, okay. Like they used the chemicals that break down the glue. The glue, right? And then they also added conditioning elements of oil and. Um, olive oil and other things because that's going to really break down the stickiness right so yeah recently haven't gotten glue not glue um gum out of hair peanut butter oil okay. right oil oil is going to just shred those bonds there you so, go oil <laughs> not my favorite way to get it out but if you get it on something you don't need mean to then you have to get yeah. it out lighter fluid oil interesting combination of there for don't use it on your hands Right, so what about uh, mineral oil or baby oil for your hands? Yeah, sure. Yeah, oil on your hands, but yeah. I wouldn't use acetone no, or... I uh, no, acetone. Uh, there's the the not acetone for, for cleaning your nails. Yeah. But still... But uh, still... Because those chemicals just wick into your skin really quick, and then you put your, your, a lot of extra stress in your liver, and that's why you don't want to put all these chemicals in your skin. Yeah, and don't take it while you're doing Tylenol. Yeah, don't take it while you're doing Tylenol. Yeah. I, I don't entirely know why, but I think I, have, I can understand because it's uh, Tylenol's... Really hard on your liver. Really hard on your liver? Okay. Yeah. Tylenol's hard on your liver in general. So if you're... And Cantuna says, uh, thank you to Eonolith Lightbringer. I'll try rubbing alcohol. Cool. Yeah. That's like a milder acetone, but... Right. It'll dry it out. <laughs> And, and George says, she's a witch! <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, I like it. Interrupting you while you're... No worries. So it's this side, so I'm going to want to do it this way. So this is in the back. And, the, and well, I didn't glue these terribly well, so they're all kind of wonky. Did you glue them? I don't know. Oh, yeah, you... I think I did. Yeah, you glued those ones. <laughs> yeah. I am like breaking out with something. It's irritating me. It's probably the foam dust. Probably the foam dust. Probably. Sorry about that. No worries. Sometimes I think I'm just crazy, and other times, no, I'm having an allergic reaction. <laughs> and other times, you know for sure you're crazy. Yes, for sure.
Oh, I used the little leather punch to make the Yeah, you hole. just made the hole on both sides in well, the um, Sean's pokey chain thing. mail. Yeah, thank you for that pokey thing, by the way. Ice pick murders. Went right through the uh, Velcro, but that's probably oh, good. This is a different vinyl color. I had three different shades of brown, apparently. Oh. Didn't realize that was. That's on the back. <laughs> no. no, it's like no. a referee. You gotta go. I'm gonna do the right one. You should have it, I hope. No, I do. Okay. It's just, it looks so similar. Yes. But I know it's wrong. Here it is. Here's the right. Oh, there's only a piece. Hold on. Okay, maybe I might end up doing the wrong one. No. You can look on the table over there, the table saw. I don't know. Uh... No, it's the one I had the least amount of. Right. It's, it's, okay. it's also the best looking one and probably the oldest. Right? From this, my grandma's stash? Right, from your grandma's stash. Yeah, no, I, I'm not seeing it, but... You know, I actually really do like this one. It's a little darker, but... It's where the swords are. It's where the swords are. It'll be alright. Oh, well. We got this. Lieutenant Angry Dwarf, what's your favorite video game? Legend of Zelda. There you go. Ocarina of Time. My current favorite would be Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but my all-time favorite's got to be Portal, Portal 2. <laughs> it's 2 o'clock. I guess it's time to... I guess. Right? But it could be... Well, no, it was mail. John would just come in. Oh, it is mail. I've got mail. <laughs> April's got mail. Yes, there you go. I Thank love you. BBs. I know, I know. <laughs> I do get to open up mail, but it's not really fan mail because I ordered this. But what's the goofy thing that Odin orders for Amazon? Right, what'd you get this time? Should be, yep, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, it smells like nothing because it's a... Uh... Lap Song Su Chong Black Tea. Bruno's helping chew out the package now. So it's loose leaf tea, but it's the uh, the Lap Song Su Chong. It's a, um, uh, it smells like a campfire. It is a, it is a smoky tea, a very smoky tea. And, and um, Pete's is no longer carrying it. Thanks, Pete's Coffee. But, uh, so. Amazon does, apparently. One. Amazon does, so. Tea, I got tea. <laughs> So is Odin makes a tea party? Uh, yes. <laughs> sure. Is that, am, am I admitting to something you shouldn't be admitting to? No. Okay. But yeah, even though I've, Got a coffee cup on screen on occasion? It's not coffee. It's usually tea or water. I was going to say, that's my old boss's trick. It was never coffee in his coffee cup. It was nope. always Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else talked about that, with, with, but it was uh, whiskey. Whiskey in the coffee, I think. You know, I've done Irish cream, because <laughs> I'm just that creative. Alfred Weaver would like a cup of your of that tea. Oh, okay. Come on week. over, Alfred. 
Join us for Odin's Tea Party. Odin's Tea Party. We will tea sip party. tea. <laughs> we will sip tea. Loose leaf black tea. And talk about our latest craft projects. Yes. Got uh, got some friends that do uh, stitch and bitch, and that's exactly what it is. That's they oh, make yeah. tea and and they whatever crafting they're doing and complain. <laughs> I don't know if they've done a stitch and bitch in the past year, but... It's been definitely a crazy year for that. Dan does junk. That is a crazy big build idea. Full size of your favorite Lego set, making all the pieces so they assemble just like the set. I totally want to have a the bricks the size so you can build your own Lego house, little Lego room. Right. They used to have the diaper wipes that right. had those when my the blings were little. Yep, that had, that had that type of packaging. Yeah. Yeah. Totally bought those just for the hopes of one day having enough for a big wall. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You kids need to poop more so I can buy more big bricks. <laughs> <laughs> just do my size wipes in that. No. Interesting. Connor Cook, everyone, including me, usually asks you about what movie stuff. Ask you about movie stuff. But what is your favorite song or song genre or song decade? All right. Um, favorite song. Even more so than movies, songs come and go, right? There's, there's points in time when I could go, oh yeah, Art of Noise, close to the edit. I haven't listened to that song in 20 years. I can play it in my head, but um, um, yeah. Uh, and then there for a while it would be Juno Reactor, God is God. Um, and I know that's my parents' favorite song because that guy totally rocks out when you play that song. Because <laughs> uh, you know, parents, parents dance if you're not aware of this. Um, what's my current favorite song? Yeah. Well, genre, it's all kind of falling, falling the same way if you haven't actually picked up on that. Art of Noise, Junior Reactor, uh, Daft Punk, uh, movie scores. Uh, basically, uh, my favorite genre of music is the one where the singer keeps their mouth shut. You're not into lyrical, are you? I am you? not into lyrical at all. I'm, I find that I'm not into uh, human voice as far as the music goes. When, but but what's, what's, I think specifically it's the higher tones. Oh. Um, like Ramstein. That doesn't bother me. Not only because it's German and I can't hear what they're saying, understand what they're saying anyway, but it's a lower tone, and so that's cool. That, that seems to be okay yeah. with me. But, um, yeah. Hmm. But Electronica, uh, so 80s. Um, uh, movie scores. Uh, I used to call it industrial, but that's not really accurate anymore. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think, what, what are my, my main Pandora stations? Uh, I've got a Junior Reactor station, a Blue Man Group station. I've got a... Uh, um, no, Hybrid just shows up on all of them, so they don't have to have their own station. Hybrid's a band that I found through Pandora. Um, there's an Enigma station. There's a band called Air that I found through Pandora, which has got more of a 70s smooth vibe. But still, same type of, type of groovy, you know, uh, instrumental type music. And, um, yeah... That's what I listen to. <laughs> those, those are the streaming things that I listen to. Which doesn't broaden my horizons a whole lot because I keep listening to the same crap. But, you know, I'm happy with that crap, so yeah. why move? <laughs> well, I have my station on my Spotify called My Jams where there it's all the songs that just kind of have good, are connected to good memories. Whether I like that's the cool. song or not. Oh, yeah, me and my friend had this one summer that, and that's how that song made it there. Like, it just every time I totally. hear it, it throws me back into those memories. So I have... A whole, a whole station just of those, yep. and yeah. There's a Morrissey song and a Susie and the Banshee song that both, if I hear them, I immediately think about uh, yeah. the puppetry class. Yeah. Right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Boys of Summer, my friend played that ev like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> over and over and over. That was easy over. to play to death. <laughs> yes, and then the Ataris came out with their version, so she was playing both anyways. Lots of good memories. Okay. Pulled from Pixels, Apocalypta. Nah, not 100%. Sure on that, because I'm pretty sure Apocalypta is, is a 
band, right? That sounds really familiar. Uh, I have seen Adam Savage's Velociraptor build. It is insane, but I have not fully watched his videos on that yet. <laughs> Someone's quoting uh, Die Hard. Hmm. Lego handle is three millimeters, so if you scale that to your hand, it'll give you your conversion. Sort of, except Lego hands don't directly convert because... They're the size of the circles on the top of the Legos. Yeah. So if you That's can figure true. out your diameter based off of that, but then you have circle math, which is not the easy math. Let's go off the cup. Go off the cup, yeah. We'll still circle math. Okay, so... Yeah, so Dan, Dan, oh, yeah, everyone's just talking to each other. Cool. Let's see, oh, here we are. Um, yay, Portal 2, played it a few times, still fun. Grumar, this is on the Discord. Hi, welcome to, welcome to uh, Odin's live stream where I, where I read social media, live on the air. Uh, <laughs> Darren Calvin says, and my uh, final question is, what's for lunch? So Darren found out that is my habit to, to buy my crew and guest stars lunch after, uh, after, after, after the stream. So. Because it's lunchtime. It is lunchtime. So Felicia, where do we want to go and meet with Dan and have lunch? <laughs> So we typically go to Arby's, not always, but we typically go to Arby's. Yeah. Dan and I have gone to Mod Pizza a few times. Uh, I like that you get a whole stuffed pizza here. with Mod Pizza. Whole stuffed pizza? Yeah, they put the cheese on the inside and then they put the thing and then they... So the whole pizza is stuffed instead of just, Oh, okay. You can get a stuffed pizza. Oh, interesting. I haven't done that. Oh, yeah. But I can only eat about a slice and a half. <laughs> right. And then I'm full. But, um, I don't know. I think I want a hamburger. Think you want a hamburger? I think I want a hamburger. Maybe some Wendy's, but Wendy's is okay. by. So. Well, not too far. We'll see. There's a, there's a Wendy's out by World's Best Comics. This. That's the one out by uh, Amy's Hardware by uh, Watt and El Camino. Where's that one? Watt and El Camino? There's a Wendy's over there? Mm-hmm. Saying it right away. Yeah. <gasps> You're right. I it's know just, where it is. Okay, north. yeah, yeah. I usually get that it's, one from the thrift store. Sorry, yes. Yeah, yes. It's just yes. north of the bowling alley. Yes. Up, up by the by the comic shop. Yeah. Okay, so that okay. one's not that far. You want to go to Wendy's? Maybe. We'll see. So there's a good chance that if you're in the Sacramento area, you're gonna find us at Wendy's in about 45 minutes. Because <laughs> I think we also have to wait for for a couple other things, right? Um. Yeah, because there you have the, the 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 Velcro that you needed help with, and then right. there's the the cupcake doll that needed. Right. Yeah, so. Side projects. Side projects. So I'm going to put um, some. And you made your marks. Stitch lines. Okay. Like stitching this thing to here, but not stitched. Does that make sense? Yeah. And right. I'm, you're stitching the bandolier so, so the, the two are connected, but you're not stitching them down flat. You're making loops, even though they are greatly different in shape. Like this one's considerably larger than the others. Okay. Which doesn't matter, but I just wanted to no, mention No, I just wanted case to make you. sure that I have enough. Like, I'm not going. Like, like, if you're doing that, do you want to match this stitch to your to your next stitch so you don't, or do you care? You may not care. It's okay if you don't care. I was just going to stitch probably right here in the stitch just because to okay. make it easier. Right. But I'm just tacking it down in a few random places oh. so that I have, an, once we get it on. You're using your finger, so I immediately assumed you were going to stitch where the tape was. Oh, okay. No, it's just holding it together for me. Okay. It's just holding it in place. I made assumptions and I was wrong. No, they look semi-evenly placed, but that's just right. me eyeballing. I'm not right. actually like measuring them out. And there's less, it gets more spaced as you get to this side. Right. <laughs> so, but um, no, it's just me kind of taping it and I'm going to just tack it down in like a couple spots. Okay. But no, I'm not measuring out where those spots are. Yes, I'm just kind of <laughs> randomly tacking it down. And right. then next week when we get it like in place, then I can mark where we... Gotcha. If we need to add any more extra support. But okay. as long as it's pretty wide and something to clip onto, it'll be fine. Cool. At least that's my plan. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I need, I need to poke this. Train! So poke that one. So this is this one. It dropped something. I don't know what it was, though. So it needs to be here, right? Because it's got to be the other side. And no. it's right. It's right in the...
<laughs> so everyone in Discord now is talking about, you know, food and how everything's closed here. Where is here? So let's go back to the, the public. Uh, Pull from Pixel says, mostly instrumental, orchestral-ish rock music. Yeah, I'm all for that. I like that type of stuff, too. I enjoy a lot of the... It's just instrumental, yeah. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be instrumental. Uh, but I get real picky on the singers. And a big thing is, I've got about a six-word buffer in my brain. So the hook of the song, right, What what whatever little repeated tag that they do in the song they sing, that's all I'm going to hear for about 48 hours. And that's another reason why I don't lyric, listen to lyrics, is I don't get the earworm problem. Because i got a pretty bad earworm, usually. <laughs> okay. Or when I'm working on something, um, I'm not paying attention to the lyrics. Uh, it's just the music, and I can groove with the music, but I can focus on what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I try to listen to audiobooks, but then I find that I'm waiting for a, a break in the story to go back to work and turn the cameras back on and get, get working. So I'm actually delaying by listening to audiobooks. But, you know, it's fun. I like the stories. I like to listen to lectures while I'm humming. Yeah, there you go. So. Yep. Yep. Greetings from Poland, guys. Hello, Vito77. Did I do anything to help support that? No, it was just a, a bunch. Just, you did a fancy knot. Yeah, well, I'm doing a fancy knot again, but. Um, yeah. The figure eight knot, the stopper knot. Yeah. The big knot, so that it right, so it doesn't is pull not through. going to it's pull not through. It's not going to pull through. That's right. I just need to kind of figure out about where I want to put the knot. And it still can, because it's only being tied to foam, which is not exactly rigid. <laughs> but we have a flexible hold so that it doesn't pop out. Right. Whoa. Is that about right? This is my Apple box. It's about right. Mm -hmm. I'm tack it down in two more spots and then call it a day for this week. All right. So I just did I put the glue all the way away. I did. Put you it right did. there. Yeah. I didn't leave it out. Okay. I think I'm gonna come in this way. So I take some more super glue and I'm gonna add a little bit of super glue to the elastic knot. with the half-hearted hopes that that'll help hold things together. That'll help hold things together and not just seep and weep and make a mess. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we can always stick a washer in there. Yeah. Might have to. Just to keep it all from popping through. Yep. Yeah, I might have to later. Did it, uh, did it wick through? Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> Live. All our bad well, ideas. It's still mostly working. Okay. So. Um, what happened is um, the super glue wicked its way through the elastic, so half the elastic doesn't elastic anymore. <laughs> it'll crunch out. Yeah, that's true. It'll crunch out. It'll crunch out like hairspray. Okay. Yeah. It stays crunchy even in milk. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's strapping. Next time we'll have a strapping good time. I think for the pun I've been trying to fill up the titles for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, but I've been avoiding the strapping. Yay, <laughs> stocking potential. Fun. That's right, Ad Vixen. <laughs> stocking potential. And pulled from Pixel says, and now I'm hungry. Okay, so. So uh, Dan does junk. Um, since I know you are in a community south of here, uh, Stockton Con looks like it may be gearing up, so it's possible we'll be able to run into each other at Stockton Con or if the Lodi Grape Festival happens, because Michael talked about having some sort of Comic Con appearance there last year before everything, Shut before down. The, the fit hit the shan. The shan. Yeah. <clears throat> unprecedented times. Unpre yes, unprecedented times. Connor Cook, not sure if this has been asked before, but would would you or can you make something from space balls? Because in this day and age, I am surrounded by a-holes. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sure. Do the merchandise. <laughs> yeah, do the merchandise. Spaceballs, the movie. Spaceballs, the script. 
Spaceballs, half the joke's taken from Mad Magazine. There um, we go. Now we can carry our scissors around. Oh, good. So. So you're making a serious crafting bow. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You know, just in case he runs into some. Choice. Yes. So, okay. Next week we'll attach all of these. Yes. Debt with P. Life space space life size space cleaner. Um <laughs> George is saying when Wanda and Thor is crafting some you know shit's gonna go down. <laughs> crafting something. What else is the one in here? Someone said No, nope, missed it. Oh well. So yeah. Mm. Yep, people are still just talking back and forth about the type of uh, type of music, which is great. Do I think I make things from Overwatch? I've looked at it before, it hasn't happened. Now you just need some foam to add to your scissors. Yes. Yeah. And then, um, well, before, before we do that, this, yeah. this piece needs to swap places with this piece because I put the buckle on backwards last week. There you go. Because this strap should be going this way, not towards the chest. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, look, it's perfect. You just need to do that. No, you're right. Yeah. So, might need to. Get another one of those belts. Okay. Which, I don't know, there may be one in your belt bag still anyway, but... Uh, there might be, because I gave you the bag of belts. Yeah, you did. And I saw the bag over in the corner last night. Yeah. There were a bunch of these, so there should be, but if not... Right, you just, like, bought them all from the dollar store or something? Or? Well, they ha um, This was back in Smosh days, so these were oh. um, Keith and Noah belts. Oh, okay. And yes, I found a stack of them at the dollar store and I grabbed a few of them. Okay, <laughs> because cool. Because I always freaking needed belts. Right. Of certain sizes for Keith, Noah, and then different sizes for Ian and Anthony. And so everybody had their own belts. But these ones particularly I bought for Keith and Noah. Okay. But yeah, they were dollar store and I bought a bunch of them. Yeah. A while ago. Stuck them in a bag and then gave that bag to you. And now we're using them for this. I was grinding on the back side of this with the Dremel to, uh, to thin it out for wrapping around the, the, the hoop. Yeah. And... Um, well, yeah, the outside is leather. The inside is, is felt. <laughs> yeah, no, these are cheap, cheap. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't, the outside's not leather. Oh, okay. No, it, these are just cheap belts. They're <laughs> dollar store belts. Dollar store belts. Yeah, no, this isn't going to, like, actually hold your pants up or anything. Yeah, no. <laughs> See, check uh, Discord one more time here. Uh, they're surprised that Ireland has lasted a whole year without bars and pubs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Sacramento area is going to be allowing people uh, allowing um, facilities who serve alcohol but don't serve food to open up their patios this week. Okay. Because it's been only with food as well, and so if a if a bar needed to be open, they had to have a food truck show up in order to have the two go together. And of course, the food truck didn't show up because whatever reason that the bar had to be closed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not going out to eat. No. But, <laughs> but good for them. Vertro, I finally get to join a live stream and a stream the wind down and goodbye section. Yeah, but it's been wind down and goodbye for 25 minutes now because... We take our time. We take our time. So, getting back over to... Oh, uh, there we are. Train! Thank you, Stupid Monkey, for filling in for Nicole. Um... What is my favorite action scene from Indiana Jones? Um. Uh, John Doe. Um, the one scene that I've probably watched more than anything else has got to be the truck chase. Um, I was going to say, yeah, that one's a good one. That is a good <laughs> chase. I was going to say, I like the them going really makes it through the too. temple because, of course, I had to walk through the kitchen right. on the legs. Of course. Because we had these diamond-printed linoleum, you know Oh, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. No, the temple's great too. Definitely yeah. with, the, with the big, the, <laughs> yeah, the big plaster Paris ball that was gonna hurt if he didn't keep moving. Yeah, and the ride. Got yeah. to ride that about seven times. Right. <laughs> in a row when it was raining in Disneyland. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the truck chase, and much like uh, um, uh, Chernabog from Fantasia, I think I really like the truck, truck chase because I really like the music. <laughs> I also I mean, like the guy's face really melting. Fun. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> um, okay, so FF, FF Fran, Odin in the future, you're planning on making a Mandalorian costume? At the moment, I am not planning on making a full Mandalorian, Mandalorian costume. Yeah. Um, Other than Gundam, have you made a full outfit? Your double gauntlet's not going to happen this live stream. Sorry, Lord Khan. Um, not on the channel, no. No, because you've done individual pieces and props, but not... Right, but not a real... Because Lego Batman got close, but I still kind of cheated and just used black pants and, and whatnot. Because it was... Uh, on, on the channel, I only made the head and, and the shoulder pieces. And then I made the belts and the gloves and knee pads and a few other things to sort of kind of mostly make a Lego Batman costume. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. I think. Yeah. But I like that you're starting to do full cosplays. Doing Thank you. The Mecha Godzilla. You Mecha. guys can't see it. It's right there. Yeah, Mecha Godzilla right there. Well, you can see that part. Oh, yeah. Mecha Godzilla. Um, a big part of that is just because I enjoy making a prop every single week. And I think having uh, a full thing happen within one video is, is good. Because then you're not like, oh, this is episode 14. Where's episode 1? Or like I'm, what we're doing here? <laughs> kind of like what we're doing here. But this is live, so whatever. Yeah. I'm, not yeah. gonna, I'm not gonna knock this. And also, I don't wanna be knocking the guys that, uh, that are like building model pirate ships. It's episode 66. It's like, well, I don't wanna see the first 65. I just wanted to catch something for 10 minutes now. <laughs> so that's, that's a big reason for why it's taken until now for me to do full cosplays. But yep, doing it. And, and we've, we've talked about what could happen after Mechagodzilla. Even though Mecha Godzilla's got a few more, few more months, it's still inevitable that something else is going to pop up. Still need the bottom half, so you're only halfway through. Exactly. You have the top half done. Got the top half done, and I've got at least three modifications I want to do the head and neck. Yeah. Right? It's not a finish. <laughs> it's not a finished thing, no. I still yeah. want to put the thing in the chest, and there's a lot that I want to do to it. Yeah, there's more that... It, it's a lot. You, you do yeah. one prop, it's a lot, but then you do one prop. Two cuffs. Two cuffs, right. Two legs, two arms, you know, doubles everything. <laughs> and you start everything. talking to your really good friend who's really good at sewing and able to put things together about making uh, uh, silver tops for my handlers so they can look like the aliens from the movie. Which, they don't have to have any kind of crazy helmet or anything else. I think it was uh, mirrored aviators and, 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 and it was a silver jumpsuit, which is like a silver jacket would be fine. Yeah. And I was looking at... Um, Many, 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 many streams ago, this is back in like October probably when I first got them, I had those leather patches, right? I showed them on the stream. Some of you remember, most of you don't. That's fine. But that person's going to be coming to the SatCon again, I assume, uh, you know, on Easter weekend. So that's only like three weeks away. Um, so I was considering uh, emailing her and asking about getting uh, maybe Mechagodzilla crew patches. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So he comes in with his whole posse. Right. <laughs> I like it. I could get, I could get behind that. Cool. Hmm. But it is two thirty, and our noon to two o'clock stream is over. We got the straps taken care of. Bruno's made a number of of, of appearances. Uh, Toby, of course, is the goodest boy he always is because Toby is just a rock star. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bruno wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Toby. That there you go. Exactly. So thank you all very much for spending your Monday with us. Uh, thank you to those of you that participated in the Super Chat. Thank you in a huge kind of way. Your generosity is very much appreciated, and, and thank you. And all that type of stuff uh, definitely goes into basically keeping the lights on, keeping uh, the rent paid here, or buying materials to do projects like this. So, so thank you all very much for, for, for all of that. Definitely appreciate it. Um, I don't know. Trying to do the wind down thing. And I think I'm very much wound down. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm ready for some lunch. How about you? Oh, yeah. So next week we'll do strapping. Okay. Um, after that, I think we're pretty... We're almost finished. We're almost finished. We're almost... What are we going to do next? Well, we're going to have a live stream where we ask people. Okay. Like, exactly what you guys want. Right. Where we'll actually take all the requests. And <laughs> we'll read off all the requests. It'll be two hours just reading requests. Pretty much. We'll, <clears throat> so be, be there. So be, be, be aware. 
And then after- oh, we can do a train spotting episode where all we do is watch trains go by. There you go. <laughs> Just take a shot every time a train goes by. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> train. Train. It's the open drinking game. Yeah, there you go. But next week we'll get the straps done, and then after that we're going to do the three D printing. Yep. I think by April we should be okay. I think that's that's the that's goal. cool. Whatever stage this is at, I will do my best to bring it with me to... I mean, if I've got a space, I'll absolutely show it at, at SAC Anime. If I don't have a space, this may just show up and, and, and appear with um, uh, Princess Squibb's table or something else, because I'm sure she'll have a table again. But uh, anyway, I want to say thank you to everyone who's hung out with us for two and a half hours on this Monday. Thank you to Toby and Bruno, and thank you so much for Felicia for coming by and, and, and hanging out with me again. And... You know, there's going to be lots of different ways that you can do a live stream. But this is how Felicia makes. <laughs> I guess technically is, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this was, especially today. I just talked. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, and fixing five bucks. Woo! <laughs> and <laughs> oh, and you made a buddy, whether you like it or not. I'm reading, I'm reading posts and I'm actually clicking the off button. <laughs> end stream. Are you sure you want to end stream? Yeah, I got to end it. <laughs>